Okay, now we're live on Twitch and YouTube. I don't I'm never I've never had YouTube do that. So I've been talking to YouTube <clears throat> for the last two minutes. Well, I mean talking to everyone. But YouTube didn't automatically start the screen stream when I hit go live on OBS. Never had that happen before. There was actually a extra button on YouTube side that said go live. So anyway, uh yeah, yesterday was terrible. So once again, the stream should be up on both. It's it wasn't apparently. Better latency, lower latency on Twitch, better graphics quality on YouTube. But yes, we are back to the 5% no pause. I think everything's all right now. Single phase run. It's still saying, it's saying no data. What is going on? I have no idea. YouTube having problems this morning? YouTube is glitching? Well, it looks like at least people are now able to hear me on YouTube, so that's good. Yeah, that was really weird. Okay, now it's showing for me as well. <clears throat> I'm in Dragon, Tom, Jasper, William, Buckle, Richard, looking good now. Yeah, very weird, very weird. So anyway, I was telling YouTube, uh, I'd already told it to Twitch, but I was telling YouTube the story of yesterday, and apparently no one was able to hear me. So uh, you know what? We'll get in the game, and I'll go over it again a little bit. But we are back to the 5% no pause, rim world, losing his fun, sanguifage, vampire, keyword run. It's fine on your end. Yeah, but it, it wasn't. For some reason, when I hit go live on... Oh, Christ. Almost didn't record either. Okay, recording has begun for the editor. <laughs> What's going on today? That was my fault that time. Anyway, usually on YouTube, it goes live as soon as I hit go live on, on OBS. But this time, uh, YouTube needed me to hit a button on YouTube's end that said go live. I don't know. Hopefully, that's not a change that they've made. But anyway... Going Ogre, Shadow, welcome in. 86, Kel, Doth, Tater, Shot. Welcome back, welcome back. That was weird. That was weird. Okay, so we still have not recovered. Let's take a look at this, actually. It's easier for me to see in here. So there's where the great fire happened. And as you can see, we have still not recovered. We have still not recovered. We are still down like almost 40,000 wealth from where we were. We also lost all of our slaves. We have been re recruiting and we've gotten more children. So I have now had a child versus baby, and Jimbo the kid has had three children. So uh, my character is about to get married, but yeah, it was a mess. So for anyone that wasn't here, just coming in and want me to explain what happened, I highly recommend going and watching yesterday sometime, but the change, I'll comment and stuff are displayed on YouTube recently, so maybe that's another new change. Yeah, I hope not, but I mean, I guess it's just one more click. It's not a big deal, but go and chow. God of War, welcome in. So basically we had some refugees. I put them out here. I brought everyone down that could fight fire. I didn't know there was going to be a fire down here to execute the refugees. While they were out here, a Z event happened in the storeroom. And this was full of stuff. And they were the only ones I could put out to fire, really. So I was trying to get them back. but And it would have been an easy fire to put out if they had all been in here. But I couldn't get them back in time. And due to panicking and no pause and, you know, all that... Um, I, I didn't, there's a lot of things I could have done. There was like a pop pack literally in here that I could have put on someone. There was a fire foam popper over here. I could have moved even during, in the moment, you know? There were things I could have done, but that's the nature of no pause and panicking. We almost lost the run. We lost all the slaves. We lost all of our items. We lost some of our infrastructure and everyone else was overheating. And in fact, we almost lost Jimbo, Jimbo the kid. He was death resting in this room, overheating. And we had to risk everything, destroying doors, get back in, and save him from the fire. And we did. All, all the vampires and all of the children survived. And we are still rebuilding. Still rebuilding. So we did get a bunch of research done. Like I said, we got more children. Uh, we've turned off the research benches for now because we got all that we wanted research done. We got a little kid here, genie boy, making some drugs. Love to see it. And we got a slave that is actually making components now. We are starting to scan for hopefully steel. And yeah, so things are okay, but it was scary. <laughs> we almost lost. Okay, we got two mining sites up. One is 15 people, one's 13, and it's just steel. Also have six people here. We could go do that raid. It is uh, the faction. One second. My mouse is, there we go. Anyway, it is the impid faction, but we can take it out. It was all because of the Z event. Yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy. I've never had one be so impactful, honestly. <laughs> All right. How are we doing on our schedule here? Uh, okay, they're set up correctly. 
Yeah, I've never I've never had one of those events be so impact. Well, that's not exactly true. One time when I was new to the game, I had like an entire room like this size of batteries because I don't know why. I didn't realize how the game worked back then, right? It was one of my first playthroughs and it discharged all the power in the battery and it was in the hospital where it blew up and it killed someone. So that was slightly worse, you know, de death, a little bit worse. Also, we need to start getting the pollution moved. I think I got, yeah, I got that set up. I lost you. Loose rain. All right, all right. We also are ready to do the Praetor ceremony or we can do that at some point. Uh, we got a new, we got the beds for the new prison. Well, it's not really new, it's prison again. Not sure why you guys are up here hanging out. Is there a party going on? I'm getting married in the prison. Next to a vat of meat. Beautiful, beautiful ceremony. Oh, the other thing that happened yesterday is uh, Kid Jimbo and myself gave each other vasectomies. I'd have multiple ideologies on separate settlements on a single planet. You would basically just have to only send people that ideology. So when you make your custom ideology, you can actually make custom ideologies. There's some limits. You can make custom ideologies for the other factions. You could make a custom ideology for one of the factions and then capture that, uh, capture people from that faction and then go make a second colony with them if you wanted. I've never done that, but you should be able to do it. There's an analogy in there somewhere. Missed yesterday? Oh man, yesterday was rough. Prison, the perfect wedding venue. Let's go to R Square. Did you see the new, uh... What is going on with my mouse today? Did you see the new Mortal Kombat character trailer? Oh no, I think I just accidentally put the DPI way up. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm gonna have to get used to it, I guess. Uh, you dreamed a granny. You did see it? It's pretty funny. I don't know that character. I don't know that person, that character, but. My wife's going to work in the mines. Sending my wife off to the salt mines for that money. Much love to the sparkle bottom. Have you ever gotten herpes from a Rice Krispies treat? No, Granny. I can't say I've ever gotten herpes from a Rice Krispie treat. Thanks for asking. Uh, Tweety, thank you for the 41 months. Thank you, Tweety. Yeah, the trailer was pretty good, but I don't know the character. I've never seen anything with him in it, so. I mean, it's just, the character is just literally John Cena. Maintaining multiple, yeah, so the colonies do have their own individual raid timers and stuff, right? So, you're gonna get raids at both colonies. You know, Peacemaker? No, I don't know him. Not really. I know of him, but I, I don't think I've ever seen any content with him in it. Um. Oh, right, we were gonna go try to get the ancient complex done. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to use this wedding mood and I'll take a couple of these guys with me. I'm hoping it has it has like snapshot from early game because that's when it spawned. Uh, the sun blocker is there, so that's handy. But there is generally fire traps in these places. So I got to be a little, a little cautious. I'm going to take three guys with me here. Take three of you with me. And... I guess we're going to be eating some raw rice while we're gone. That's not ideal. You know what? I'll take these simple meals as well. I'll have to switch this over to the other food. Yeah. Oh, right. We're also... That's right. We're trying to get hemogen packs. So how are we doing on the events? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit. Go ahead, Alexander. Well, thank you for coming in. Half of them will have a moody buff. The leaders from the other ideology. And you have two moral guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are problems with it for sure, but if you set up the cust two custom ideologies with keeping in mind wanting them to interact together quite a bit, you could do you know diverse diverse thoughts instead of any kind of bigotry with both of them. So that helps a with some of it, right? But yeah, overall, that's a lot of problems. Is other woman? Oh, um, she is, and she also became a vampire. And I married her and we have a child now. Lots of lots happened yesterday. Lots occurred. So. Why does the base look so symmetrical and pretty? It's a themed run. That's how themed runs are. 
Did you see the bow only run? Or the dwarf run? That's just how they are. Can you use convert? Yeah, you can use convert for multiple. Oh, I didn't even set the camels to come with us. Should have done that. Oh, well. Recover from yesterday. We're still not fully recovered, believe it or not. Believe it or not, we're still not fully recovered. Just deal with sappers or mechanoids that breach walls. So, breachers for me are the easiest raid, generally, because they are half raid points. So they're just smaller than all other raids. The easiest thing to do, there, there's two main things to do with breachers. What I generally do is I go out and kite them. So I have assault rifles, long range weapons in general. And if you kill the actual breaching units, the AI on the other units kind of goes a little crazy. So you're trying to pinpoint the, the termite. And then after that, you can just kind of kite and hit hit and run a little bit without getting hurt. If you aren't confident in how to do that or doing that, another thing you can do is, let's say you have a double wall like this and the breachers are coming at an angle like this, the mech breachers. You set your colonists up here, throwing an EMP in that open gap where they're going to come through and you just kill them as they come through. Those are the two best ways unless you want to cheese it. There are some very cheesy exploitative ways to deal with it. If you want to do that, I can tell you those ones as well. Uh, sappers, you can make sappers go where you want. So Sapper AI tries to avoid powered turret line of sight. So what you can do is in your inner walls, put a uh, turret, power turret line of sight everywhere aside from where you want the sappers to, to come in. And you can literally make sappers break into a kill box and you can just be lined up like you normally would in a kill box. So with sappers, you can lead them where you want as long as you've made it to turrets. The breachers, like I said, I typically just go out and, and kite or I do the little like catty corner thing as they come in and, and kill them. But also depends on stage of the game. You can see me dealing with a lot of that stuff on my YouTube channel in general. If you want to watch some of the other runs, there are a lot of edited runs as well. So you don't have to wait to see. In fact, the edited runs are timestamps. So you could go through the timestamps on some edited runs and look for breach raids. All right, so let's come in here and make comments on how the why the stream hasn't started when it's already started. <laughs> It is interesting that some people, I, uh, I'm sure some of them are joking, but some people still apparently don't uh, realize how the scheduling thing on YouTube works. They'll see that it shows a stream and they're like, what's going on? Why isn't this live? I've been waiting here for three hours. And I had just posted the schedule for it uh, three hours before or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, you got, you got like you got, you know, 20 hours left or something. I don't know. All right. Ancient complex. Ancient complex. Go on. Peter, hysteric. Welcome in. Beto. I'm hoping it snapshotted when we first got this quest. It looks very likely that that's what happened. Okay. So I like destroying a piece of wall in these so that it's open to the outside in case that it, there is a fire. Oh man, I need a death rest soon. Oh god, Grey Bush, you're the ones missing a leg. Oh, what do you know? Crate. Right off the bat, nice. A mod in which pawns don't get hurt no matter what. I don't know about that. Yeah. Never even never even thought about that. Okay, there's Ancient Terminal. Yeah, this is definitely like snapshot from, from early game. Losing our camels. I figured that might happen. I'm bored. You're on an away mission. We'll sell on these anyway. Guaranteed fire. I'm not sure because we got this one like super, super early. So it might have very well snapshot with basically nothing. Yeah, so far, so far nothing.
Where'd you guys leave that food that we brought? Is it on you? One more to go. Yeah, there's the fire. I've never tried shooting them. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't do what we want, anyway. Lung rut. I'm fleeing the fire. It's not even that close. All right, there's the last one. Whoa there. A raid. Yeah, so it definitely snapshot. I know I keep saying that, but quite obviously. Ooh, hey, I'll take that. I don't think you have to do this anymore, actually. All right, so how many parts is that? Is that the third part? Is that the third part? Perhaps, perhaps. Let's take a look. So we have the spacecraft hack. This is a newer one, though, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. But, yeah, I think we've we've done a bit. We've done two. <laughs> so, I thought there was third. So, so, we need three more if we want to get that relic. It's gone RJD. Welcome in. North. Welcome back. North assist. Did I snapshot what I mean? So, what I mean by snapshot is... Uh, the ancient dangers and some other things on the map and certain quests base things on your raid points. So if you get us like a space drone hack a very early game when you have one colonist, the raids are going to be nothing. It's going to be like one or two enemies per raid. And so if you accept that quest or if you have that quest there from very, very, very early on, but then you don't actually activate the event until later, the event is still snapshot to back when you had very low raid points in like one pawn. We had that happen with a space drone hack. So we had that uh, exact situation where we got the space drone hack quest, one of them, when we had like two people or something, right? So the the, the raids were just like one to two people, but we didn't we didn't start the quest until we had a huge colony, and so the raids were like super easy. It should make the sunlight arrangement simpler. It is very simple. Yeah, people like to follow the guy that initially builds a swastika and goes from there, but it's super simple. I'll show you. You take a sun lamp. You can only fit 24 basins, right? All right, here, here you go. You put a basin on each side. You fill in the gap between all of them. And then you put one on each corner. 24 basins. And then you have four open spots for heaters or art or whatever. Done. Don't even have to think about it. You can do it the opposite way too if you you like it more vertical, put one on that, you cap them all in, put one on each end, done, 24 basins. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to do the crazy thing, yeah, that the super popular video shows that you do. There's, there's no reason. Like, I used to do that when I was newer to the game because I didn't realize just how easy it is just to slap 24 around a light. And you you can only have 24 basins and you're always going to have four open spots. And because of how room stats work, it doesn't matter where the op open spots are. So, like, a heater here is the same as a heater here. A piece of art here is the same as a piece of art here, right? It's, it's not going to matter. So, also, it doesn't really matter with normal light because they don't get a debuff from 
from below normal right if you want normal light you can still do it with this setup because they only get a debuff for not uh for low light if it's less than 30 percent lit and a light here the light is going to reach like if i put a light in each of these open spots just like you would normally the it's going to be above 30 percent anywhere that you care about for your pawns to be anyway but yeah you don't you don't have to do the crazy whatever what is it this is the most efficient way or whatever and they start out like this it's like no 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 no, no. you don't need to do that <laughs> R squared. Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, R squared, to Phil. Wonder, thank you for the 20 months. T Fark, thank you for the 15. The two squareds, 20, 41 months. Thank you, Twee. That's a long time. You also, you see that? Yeah, when I was newer to the game, that's how I, I I didn't realize it was just super easy just to cram them down there. So, to be fair, I think almost everyone tries to wiggle all of it. And the, the fact that there's only four open one by one spots you might be like oh man can i rearrange this so i can fit a 25th basin you cannot not without a not without a mod anyway your relic quest bugged on a save is there a way to fix it uh in what way did it bug because if you abandon if if you have a quest for a relic and you abandon that quest you'll get a new quest to replace it so if that's what happened, you can just abandon the quest that's not able to be completed. So for instance, we have this spacecraft data hack. If I accept this and fail it or I abandon it, either way, we'll get another chance at this. We'll get another relic quest in its place eventually. Clacky keyboard. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have one of those anymore. I used to. I like mine much better. I got, uh, it's a mechanical keyboard, but I got very quiet, quiet keys for the stream. My keyboard, you can find it at exclamation equipment. Following the quest details. Hmm. Yeah, that I don't know. I wonder if you can abandon the whole thing. Yeah, let me, I think you probably can. Also, you can start quests from developer mode. So if you do, if it like double screws up and you, you abandon it or something and it just never comes back, you can start quests from developer mode, so. So you can just dump those quests that ask for half of your colony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like my keyboard. It took me a long time to find one that I really liked that was also not loud. And had like the media buttons and I also use the number pad a lot so a lot of like the keyboards that i like like my secondary keyboard doesn't have a number pad the one for the stream pc but anyway i tried many 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 keyboards your keyboard was too quiet so now when you press the button it does the wilhelm scream <laughs> uh perfect yeah oh did that count as a raid i'm going to see no it doesn't those don't count as a raid so we probably want to go hit this. Should be pretty easy. And these freaking camels. All the camels in these smoking advertisements are dying from lung rot. It's weird. I can't explain it. Can't explain it. All right, we'll take these ones with us. Maybe they'll get that place cleaned up while we're gone. I don't know who's going to clean it up, seeing that I'm taking the people with me that would be cleaning it. But, you know, maybe it'll happen somehow. Maybe maybe the toxic waste fairies will come help, you know? Yeah. Uh, Dipsy, welcome back. Uh Oh, was that one about to go away? Oh, it's only five hours. Crap. And I didn't notice that. Uh, okay, we'll cancel. I, we can't get there because it's nighttime. We would be able to get there, but we can't because it's nighttime. These ones are quite a bit bigger. We could take them. Could take them. But I'd have to take more people with me. 13 people from Union of Arilla. So that's a faction we don't know about, so we don't know if they're going to be... Outlanders or, or what? Let's 
best scientist paid by the yeah. <laughs> How come our uh, spokes camels keep dying of lung-related illness? Mystery, sir. All right, we'll get some uh, we'll get some horses and we'll actually keep them inside. Thanks, Bone King. Which keyboard do I have? You can go. I have multiple, and I um, if you go to. I, I know the I've never had problems with Razer things. I'm not sponsored by them, but I did end up settling, and I tried other ones too on a Razer keyboard. But it's a very specific one. If you go to my website, I have it all listed though. It's just adamverseverything.com. There's an equipment button at the top, or you can do adamverseverything.com/equipment. Uh, I don't know if I have the equipment command on YouTube yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'll have to get that. Let me make a note. But yeah, you can just go to my website, and it's on there. Equipment. Command. Yeah, you'll just have to go to the site. But it's on there. And it's uh, it's an Amazon affiliate link too if you end up wanting to buy it through that. It helps me out, but get it wherever it's cheapest for you if you want to try it out. But it's my preferred one. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Camel. Sorry, Camel. Wait, are the Thralls not able to reach that? Yeah, they are. They're just all tired because I forced them do things for their entire life their entire day that's a dirty place that's a dirty place uh yeah i've never had problems with them i know a lot of people seem to have problems with them but like the i have so many of these uh razor naga mount mice like i have like four of them for different things and i have the one that you can change it like you, i can pull off the naga part and change it into a different kind, but I use the side buttons so much that for everything that now I I did try out uh back several years ago. I tried Razer sound stuff. I tried the Razer sound bar, I tried the headset. I did not like any of that crap. I returned all of it. But this keyboard and mouse is uh is definitely my favorite that I've tried. Hey, you don't know, start book. You know what happened yesterday? Man, that was kind of annoying yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, every time someone asked me if bugs were on, we immediately had infestation. Every time. I think we had like four infestation events or something yesterday and like 10 animal events. It was nuts. I've had a few. Yeah, just a few. Just a few. How come you aren't... Uh... Mm. I'm not allowed to go there, sir. Mm. Wish people stop buying gaming headsets. Yeah. Yeah, these these are my favorite. Man, so uh, they don't make these ones anymore. I wish I had bought like 10 pairs of these. These are my favorite headphones. That, they have a new version that I tried, and I really don't like the new version. But these are uh, my favorite headphones that I've ever had. And I got them on a super good deal during like a Black Friday event or something. And now they don't make this model anymore. They make a new improved model, which I tried out and I did not like at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've tried Sennheiser stuff too. And oddly enough, I like these better than the super expensive Sennheiser things. I return the Sennheiser stuff, but it's always personal preference. But yeah, I really like these headphones. I've been tempted to look on like eBay and stuff. But if, any, if there's any like barely used ones to like buy as many as I can get and put them in a closet for when this one inevitably gives out. I've been using this for like four years or something, five years. Yeah, I've been using my Razer Naga mice for probably, yeah, actually more than a decade too. Whatever they f were first announced. I got it initially for WoW and I use it for so many things now though. It's like even when I, when I play a first person shooter game and I rebind melee to five and people are like, how are you meleeing meleeing with a five button? That's very weird. It's like, oh no, that's where my my thumb is. I melee with my thumb. <laughs> yeah, I tried some. So oddly enough, I tried some of those really expensive Sennheiser ones. Yeah, and I returned them all because I like these better. I got these ones for like forty bucks. Got a Naga Hex for a while. Yours died twice. I've been wearing these ones 
Yeah, probably, I don't know, man. Probably like five years, maybe more. Can't believe they didn't... Can't believe they made a... So if you're wondering what's different about the new versions of these, so if you go to my website again, my equipment page, you'll see these on there. There's a new version of them. They discontinue these. And the new version, the clamp uh, strength is is higher. And the padding around this this part is a little bit thicker. And so not only does it push on my head more, but it's very they're very hot. And that's kind of unusual for open back headphones to even be hot. But yeah, anyway. Hopefully I'll be able to get more of these someday. Use melee on mouse five too. That's interesting. Yeah, you have mouse wheel being jump. <laughs> shift with thumb as well as you see left hand shift. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> going going. How's daycare? Uh, we're just getting started today, really. Yeah, I tried a lot. Yeah, still, I've heard people like still series ones, but. I'll just stick with these. I've tried probably a dozen or more of all kinds of brands. Like, I tried Sennheiser stuff and Bose, like, expensive. I had I ordered, like, a $350 Bose one, and it was supposed to be so comfortable, and I put it on, and I was like, ooh, this sucks. And then I was like, I'll just play with it over the weekend and see, and then I returned it on Monday. So, I've returned everything other than these ones. But it's very down-to-the-person sort of thing. Real gamers use mouse wheel for jump. <laughs> so we're waiting to see if today... God, I hope today is not another... We gotta get this cleaned out. Hope today is not another Cassandra animal day. That's like all we had yesterday. Pretty much all we had yesterday. Uh, Alright, Greybush, we're gonna have you all in clean first. Okay. How's the daycare going? Uh, it's going okay. We're, we're just getting started today. Yeah, I tried those as well. Did not like them compared to what I'm wearing. About $100. Yeah, I bought a... Last November, I bought like a Sennheiser, like expensive wireless headphones and they were very well made and like, you know, the material was all good and everything and I still did not like them more than this and I returned them. <laughs> So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep these ones forever. If they give out, I'm going to have to find them used or something on eBay. I don't know. Yo, Stabulity Mouse Wheel. Machine Gun Snipes. Sounds good. The other thing with me, too, is I really... I won't get anything other than open back now. Uh, partially because it's very comfortable and it's not as hot. But also, there was something, there was a story in the news probably about six years ago that stuck with me that's pretty horrifying. And you probably don't want to hear it, but uh, there was this streamer who would stream, he streamed for a living like I do, and he was streaming um, in his stream room and he had noise canceling headphones and an intruder came in and uh, sexually assaulted his wife and daughter while he was on his stream he couldn't hear it. He couldn't hear them screaming because he had noise canceling headphones. I was like, the odds of that happening are all basically zero. But by God, it's not happening here. I'm going to be able to hear people <laughs> if they need something. So anyway, open back. Lots of lots of benefits for me. Yeah, it's very horrifying. Can't imagine how bad that person felt. And obviously his family, but Jesus Fire baby. Hey, the baby that was born the day after the fire. A Minoc Wookman. It's very awful, yeah. Hey, he hit full. Fire baby. All right, fire baby. You are a homegrown baby. So we're going to go with Jogger. And... Let's go plants and construction on you. An ad came on and... You pro it's probably best you didn't hear the whole story, but... Yeah. 
Uh, Ragnarok. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime subs. Evie's not here, Ragnarok. No more ads for you. Speaking of. Scratch, thank you for the 11 months. And Ryan, thank you for the 7 months. Those are almost full calendar years. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Jogger. He's like the best. Uh, no. I don't want no noise-canceling headphones, no. For many reasons. That's just one of them. I, I have no reason to have... Why, why would I care about noise-canceling headphones? Do whatever you want. These are the ones I like best. Fire Baby needs to be a pyro. Uh, I'm not sure that would work out. <laughs> They're going to end up being a vampire. All right. So, hoping for human raids today from Cassandra. We still need some more blood bags. So, we have another person to turn into a vampire, but we need more blood bags so we do that. Oh, he grew up. Fire Baby is now... Fire Boy. Born from the ashes. That's right. A phoenix. Hey, we got a, a scan of steel that we'll never get. Baby dames after fires. Phoenix, Ember, Pyro. Gonna raise more vampires or just if one of the kids works out. Uh, yeah, the kids probably deserve to be a vampire. They're the lineage of myself and the kid, right? So we're gonna... The rest of them, aside from Genie Boy... And drug free boy are home raised. So let's move them to the end. So these are all actual colony born children. These are two that we acquired. Red, open back headphones allow sound out. How bad is my experience? Uh, mine's not too. Yeah, mine's not too bad. I've asked my my wife. Like she's not in here very much when I'm using them. You know, so I don't have anyone else in the room. So that's another thing for me. But when she's in here and I do wear them occasionally, she can kind of hear a sound, but she can't hear everything from it. But I, I'm also sure, sure it depends on how much you have it turned up, but. <laughs> Maybe you don't hear this. Twitch is like, I got you. Give people ads. <laughs> yeah, if you're by yourself, it doesn't matter. And, and the sound doesn't travel super far. Acquired, you mean rehoused? Yeah, rehoused. They, um, they traveled to our daycare by their own means. Acquired earbuds is what you use. Yeah, I know a lot of people like like those as well. I don't, I don't prefer them. Though. I like the feeling of being cuddled by headphones. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, it's very dependent on the person, right? So it's... All right, so let's also set up make advanced components. Do until we have X, drop on the floor. And yeah, we'll put it at 10. That's fine. We'll put it at 10. Paste that in. And let's do a couple more of these. In this one, we will do gold. And in this one, we will do plasteel. And you know what? We'll just bring some uranium in here, too. Why not? So way to keep your FPS from getting too low. Uh, RimWorld isn't super optimized, and it only runs on... Oh, my God. Book! Anyway, uh, it, it only runs on one core, so there's only so much you can do. So, not not really. The only things you can kind of do are... What am I done with death rest? Okay, we can we can wait. The only things you can kind of do is... Lower how many pawns you accept. And play on a smaller map. Have less animals, have less pawns, and play on a smaller map is your... The only real things you can do. There's a few mods that can help. It's mixed results, which one ends up working well for you. The one that used to work best for me was Rocket Man, but there's some other ones that people use. A lot of those mods are not compatible with other mods either. I mean, you can upgrade your computer, of course. That'll help to an extent. But Uranium. You were just kidding? It happens every time. <laughs> Noise canceling first became a big thing and they would give you a headache for some reason. Phones changed. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, that is interesting. Imps hunting Zack. 60 years old. That's a lot of friggin' imps. I don't think so. Reminds me. 
We need to get one of these down here. <clears throat> nice day for Rimworld and chill. Last epoch load screen. Nice. Nice. That's what my wife's been playing too. Last epoch. That's right, genie boy. Wow, look at you. Guess you're gonna have to kill some pawns. How many pawns do you have? We do have an imp to extract a gene already. Yeah, or I think we still do, right? Oh, we have a slave that's an imp. Yeah, we have that. Why are certain pawns blue and others are red? So we're using a mod that I usually don't use called color-coded mood bars. Color-coded mood bars just makes it so the background shows what their mood's at. These are the slaves, and we want the slaves to be very unhappy. So with the ideology that we are playing, we have an ideology preset called Terror Slavery. And if slaves are under 5% mood, then they won't have a breakout. So... Some foam turrets. I'm not getting foam turrets. I will get fire foam poppers, but not foam turrets. The turrets, the manual used turrets like that are incredibly harder and more finicky to use with no pause. So I will put down fire foam poppers uh, like I normally do, but no, I don't have any plans on using any of the manual turrets. Low food. All right, let's switch this back over for a little bit. I tested all the turrets and they came out with no pause and they were not, not great. Start fires near your slaves and they go all over them. <laughs> One way to do it. All right, let's go take care of the bugs. Just, we might as well. We might as well. I don't know. It's at our, our entrance. That will kill the next raid. That 100% kills the next raid. Ah, screw it. Uh, no, I, I didn't mention that. So that could be another thing. So, um, I don't know if you're still here. Uh, Bakatora? I don't know if I'm getting that name right, but thank you for the brand new sub. Very much appreciated. Thank you for that. So there's another thing that we found out that helps with lag a little bit, depending on which kind of frame rate or tick rate lag that you're getting. But basically, I guess you don't need the backstory, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Basically during the remanship stuff, I was having huge lag spikes, even with everything that I have, because there was just, what? OBS disconnected. Uh, are we still good on YouTube side? Crap. Is it a Twitch thing? Oh, come on. Looks fine on YouTube, so it's Twitch. Christ. Switch down. Okay. Let me see if it's all of Twitch. Or what's going on there. Ah. Uh. Not all of Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. I, I can't do anything on Twitch. I can't even type in the chat. I can see chat typing. I can't do it.
Well, crap. Studio file. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my connection to Twitch. No idea. I'm not even able to type into the Twitch chat on either of my computers. Uh, no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. All right, Twitch, the Twitch server's back up. Apparently the Twitch server that I was on crashed or something. It should be working again, I think. Maybe. Nope. At least it's not connecting to the chat. Actual stream is back, though. But I still can't type in chat. Wow, we went from 700 viewers to 70. That's unfortunate. Uh, Alright, I don't know. Twitch is perfect, how dare you? I can read chat on one window and not the other. Let me see if I can reload it on this, this one. Man. No idea what happened. And it wasn't an OBS thing. Because I also couldn't connect on... There we go. Also couldn't connect to chat on either computer. So I think it was the Twitch server that I was on. So I'm on the Chicago server. Switch over to YouTube exclusively. Okay. All right. Well, it's back up. Hopefully people return. Because that will tank my CCV stuff, which is not good. But uh, all right. Rack up. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Okay, um, well, I don't know if the person that was asking is still there or not, but I'll tell you anyway. So when we are doing the Riemannship thing, I was having lots of lag initially, and one of the things um, we, Smurf and I both sent save files to someone that is like a, a, a master at the RimWorld code and coding or whatever, and they looked through everything and the save files, and what they determined was one of the things that, that saves the most on lag on tick rate is limiting the range of bills. So that was the biggest frame rate and tick rate saver in the late game with lots of colonists and lots of uh, bills set up. So, and the more bills, the crazier it got. So for instance, make component. If I put this down to like ingredient radius 12, below 50 was the sweet spot. But if I put the radius down lower and then I just store the stuff that it needs nearby, that helps tick rate a ton. So that was the biggest saver. That went from my late game colonies and remmanship being like crawling, even with this, when we're trying to uh, process 60,000 corn to it just running, you know, decently normal. So I don't know if you're still here, but maybe if anyone clips it, they can show it. So you want pizza, but there's none in Chicago, just tomato and cheese casserole. <laughs> uh, point broadband? No, I don't have them don't have them and it wasn't an internet issue because YouTube was still going and I was still uploading 55,000 bit rate to YouTube no problems no hiccups everything was fine so it was literally just a uh, twitch connection so I'm guessing the twitch server that I'm on the Chicago server that I'm on had a problem so I'm, gu I'm guessing if you found other people that were on the Chicago server they would have also been having twitch issues but Wearing a button down shirt. Hey. Oh my god. Get rid of that. Take that shirt off, mister. Just 
good practice anyway. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it reduces work time, but the big thing is actually changing the ingredient radius on the bills. Every tile on the map. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. If it's set for unlimited, it's constantly scanning. Every bill is scanning the map for materials, pretty much, when I understand it. Bezos' font. Uh, Outring thing for the 24 months. Very much appreciated. That's almost two full calendar years. Hopefully we're, we recover in viewership. It's really bad for my concurrent viewership uh, stats. And I also had a bounty to do today and we might literally not be able to do the bounty because of the Twitch crash. Being walk in Ohio, certain sites are fine. Others not. So we run. Any videos demonstrating the bleed tunnel? No, I thought about making a short guide on it though. Was there any tips that the code wizard did to improve tick rate? So there's a couple. One was the ingredient range. The other was making things inside buildings instead of outdoors. So oddly enough, if you have all this planted as, as corn and it's out in the open, that lags more than if you had a building like this, a building like this, a building like this, like open to the sky, like still an outdoor building and had them all planted. So segmenting some of your, on a, especially on a big setup and with lots of ponds, for some reason that helped. I'm not sure why. Uh, having, having shelves spread around in places so that things aren't deteriorating immediately when they're harvested can also be a good one. But the biggest one was actually just a range of ingredients. It was fairly early. Yeah, it's fairly early into it. We're about an hour into the stream, so hopefully it builds back up to at least where it was. We'll see. We'll see. There's nothing I can do about it, so. Increase aging so that it, the perspective of the vampires, everyone's aging faster aside from them. Yeah, I don't remember. So, interestingly enough, the person reached out to me. I had the email saved with all the information, and the email title was something like, Regarding late game corn lag. <laughs> this is the email they, they sent me. Is the rumor code open somewhere? I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. Regarding late game corn lag. <laughs> it's like... Uh... So they reached out to me first because they were seeing my problems in the late game with uh, with that. But... Uh, You know what? I guess we could... We have some... Uh, no, they're not. That's fine. It's fine. We're waiting on the next event because that's going to hit the bugs. Perfect email. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we have more of the... Oh, we don't. So we need to get more mine screws. How many did we leave off? One, two. We need two more right now. No, I don't. Uh, I don't have... I haven't heard of that internet carrier but yeah my internet's completely fine like i said we were still completely good on youtube so it's just uh on twitch sin you have any deathless runs on youtube yeah or um on your world yeah several no, they weren't intentionally from the get-go supposed to be that but i've had several runs where we don't have any deaths yeah maybe wild animal pathing for that one yeah i'm not sure oh no Turns out, the bugs are not going to be... Yeah, I saw that too. I thought it was the button-down shirt, but... Turns out the bugs are not going to be woken up by a raid. I think it was the button-down shirt, yeah. How to find RimWorld code. Oh, there's the tutorial. Thank you, Zebu. Soup's up. Thank you for the 14 months. 14 months. Slightly more than a baker's dozen months. All right, well, let's get out here. We actually have enough people to do the double shotgun tunnel now. Probably get that set up sometime. All right, well, we're going to get blamed for this probably. Any you guys want to drop some like mono swords or something though for the children? That'd be cool. No way. Surely you guys are going to get close enough. It's just five tiles.
Oh my god, what? Are they really not going to trigger that? That's shocking. Wow, everyone went back to to their uh, their jobs because ah, they're not running into it. You always do accident. Well, I wanted to use this on the next raid, so I'm kind of happy that they're not popping it. Can you set up your pods to store harvest in the closest shelf, not based on the shelf priority? If they're all the same priority, they'll do it by proximity, from what I understand. So their their thing was that you could do a micromanage it if you really wanted to and put the shells when you're harvesting corn as a higher priority and then lower their priority after it was put on those shells. But I, I didn't end up needing to do that. The proximity and the room thing was enough. <laughs> they might. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's so crazy. I'm pretty invested in that pig. Just probably, I, I don't want it popped. Yeah, that was the whole problem. When they entered the map, I was like, God, I hope they don't open that because I want to use it on a raid. I don't, I don't care about it on this. We wouldn't get much from this. The muffalo would get off the map, so. And I mean, we can kill this anytime we want. I cannot believe they're just... <laughs> they're set up perfectly to miss it. Oh, maybe the animals can't trigger it. Starvation. Hey! Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. You started throwing up during your your meal. Ugh. So the only reason I'm watching is because not only am I invested, but if they do pull it, I need to go melee block. Yeah, I think their animals can't. Oh. Dusk emit. Are you going to pull it? What? How did that not pull it? I have no idea. That's weird. Should you capture your paw when you, they have a mental breakdown? So there's a couple things to think about that. So one, if it is a mental breakdown where it's going to be very detrimental for either their or someone else's health, like they're going on a murderous rampage, then the answer is generally yes. However, if you do arrest them, just note that if they were a, they were a colonist already, which they were, right, before you arrest them, you can actually just set them to release and they'll release back as a colonist. You do not have to re-recruit them. I've seen a lot of people that try, that go through the re-recruitment process. You do not need to do that. They will have a debuff for being having been arrested, though. I think it's a minus six for like six days. So just keep that in mind. They're not going to get catharsis. They're going to get a minus six for six days. They might break down again, but generally it can, it can be beneficial to do so if they're going to like murder someone or they're going to leave or whatever. Well, it looks like we might have another animal day. We got a uh, mass animal insanity. Go on, little girl. Welcome back. How's it, RJ Care? It's going okay today. Yeah, not not much has happened yet today, honestly. We were apparently on a Cassandra cooldown. Surprising to know when we've had more animal events and more infestations today, but... What happened? What do you mean? With what? Sunblock effect humans raiding you? It doesn't make it so there's less humans raiding, if that's what you mean, but it does impact them as far as their mood and accuracy. Or not accuracy, mood and movement. That one is made out of plastic. Yeah. I have mine screws installed. I have mine screws on um, all but two. And we just made the two that we need those on. So so we'll get those installed. Install mine screw. There we go. So this will be mine screws on all of them. Ah, 
operation. Is that the prestige cataphract? Yeah, I bought it from a settlement. Why did I say the stream is offline? Twitch server went down. I have no idea. I'm guessing the Chicago server. Yeah, his bugs are on. Yeah, here's your answer. Yeah, it wasn't my internet. It wasn't any of my computers or anything because YouTube stayed up the whole time. YouTube stayed up at 55,000 bit rate and then Twitch went down. I don't know. I couldn't even connect to the chat. Like, So, reset our viewers, unfortunately. You've been reset. All right, so now all of the slaves that we currently have have mind screws. Okay. Grab a, po a log and beat them unconscious. That's really dangerous because death on down doesn't care how much damage you down them with. So downing one of your colonists with a log is, you know, still able to kill them. Twitch twitches out. Yeah, it really sucked. All right, let's get our food stores rebuilt with this. I might even make a third hydroponic, especially if we get some more steel scans. Mexon, yes. Bolt goods, nice. <laughs> Do I have a lot to sell though, actually? Because, you know, that, that event that happened the events. We all remember the events. Yeah, not a whole lot. Uh, yeah, screw it. He reloaded on the viewer's side. Yeah, most often, yeah, people have to reload. So if someone has, is lurking, like someone as a stream going on, they're like, all right, I'm going to leave this running for you. I'm heading to the grocery store and the stream goes down. Yeah. What? Children. Children, it's time. Beat him up. He got too happy. There we go. Good job, children. Good job. You almost killed him. Wow. His torso had a third of his HP left. Well, maybe next time he'll think before he has a breakdown. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. Can you have a Mechanitor as a slave? I don't feel like you can have a Mechanitor master as a slave. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not tried it. I feel like the answer is no. But I base that on literally nothing. So I don't know. It's like now you're seeing the streams that you watch too. After you're done in chat, you'll go play uh, DBZ Fighters or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I do that. Like, lurking is is very important at streams. No, no. Especially for things like bounties, unfortunately. Like, CCV, unfortunately, is super lurking. To keep a colonist alive forever, 21 basins or 20... That's way over. Yeah, it's it's way less than that. Circadian assistant. Yes, we'll do that. Mine screw seems useless to you. Let me show you why it's not. So it's because of this mod. Uh, we have a mod that has terror slavery, so they need to be under 5% mood at all times. You see that major break risk? That is because they're not under 5% mood. So we... Mine screw is one of the best ways for us to do that. Mine screws and remove tongues. To keep a colonist alive forever on simple meals, it's only seven plots of hydroponic rice. If it's if it's harvested, if it's harvested and planted immediately and turned into simple meals only, on losing is fun, it takes two basins of rice. Now, on uh, in reality, you're probably not going to have this planted and harvested immediately and turned into simple meals immediately. Like things will happen. So if you want to be extra safe and get a little bit extra, it's three basins per colonist of hydroponic rice. But technically, it's seven plots, or you could just say two full basins. Two full basins is eight plots, which is fine. But yeah, 21, that's a lot. That's a lot. No, it's with hydroponic rice, it's, it's very little, actually. Three basins overfeeds a co one colonist on simple meals forever. An ancient terminal. Okay, we can do that one. Uh, does mind screw get affected by pain as virtue? Yes. Yep, and masochism. 
Yeah, maybe yeah, a normal soil, the game is balanced around 20 plots of normal soil per each of the three main crops. And again, all simple meals harvested perfectly and nothing happening to the crops, right? So that's probably what where the 20 or 21 um number was coming from, but No, it's uh it's it's so rice has high fertility sensitivity. So it's super efficient in those because that hydroponic basins are 280%. They're twice as high as fertile soil. It's, it's really crazy. There's a, yeah, yeah, uh, no worries. And so another interesting thing is if you have hydroponics, but you don't have enough labor for those hydroponics, it can be more efficient to grow berries, oddly enough. Berries are more, way more work efficient, but are less time efficient in the hydroponics. So that is one of those one time when berries can actually be useful or more useful than uh, growing any other kind of food crop. So keep an eye on it. If your basins all continue to fill up with rice and they're not getting harvested like pretty much immediately, you think about switching some of it over to berries temporarily. You think the sunblocker can make the game run faster too? Uh, maybe, I don't know, because plants aren't growing as much. Yeah, maybe. I'm a Cantor slave. Yeah, let me know what you find out. My thought is they pro it probably won't. You probably won't be able to enslave actual Cantor with mechs, but. Potato man. Uh, never grow potatoes in in in, <laughs> in hydroponics. Potatoes have no fertility sensitivity, basically, so they get no bonus from hydroponics. Potatoes are one of the worst things to grow in hydroponics. Go do it. The waste. The waste. I might just take care of those bugs anyway so we can go hit that village. Wet potatoes. Wet potatoes. Uh, oh, what? See, some of these are getting too happy now because, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take care of the bugs. So I need these guys out here mining. Don't have any good cooking colonists since the can be eat raw without moody buff. Well, that can be the case too, but yeah, hopefully you have someone at level four cooking or more. So for anyone that doesn't know, level four is the break point where cooking food, even even well with a crappy cook, right? Level four, it's where it surpasses the chance of food poisoning from raw food. So if you have anyone at four cooking, cook, cook or nutrient based. You can't plant corn in hydroponics without a mod. That's why I didn't mention corn. Can't do it. Not allowed. Chef, 41 months. First soup's up and then the chef. Thank you, chef. Uh, and it, I don't mean it in any ill way or anything like that, but a lot of time I will have someone that's... Uh, a lot of people that don't remember that they're using a mod for things. So I'll have people that are like, why don't you grow corn in those? Like, because I can't. <laughs> corn dog. Corn dog. Ooh, hey. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Leave that open. Voice. Reason why you'd ever hydroponic something like strawberries? I just explained it. Yeah, actually, there's two times. Oh my god, why? I'll explain it again. So there's two reasons why you might want to do hydroponic berries instead. I don't understand, man. Is it something? No, raids don't work that way. It's just bad luck. So there's two times when you do hydroponic berries. One is if you have no cooks that are level four or higher, and you don't have and you don't have nutrient paste. If you have no nutrient paste, but you somehow have hydroponics, and you have no cooks that are level four or more, then berries can be fine because you can eat them raw. The other thing is if you have hydroponics but you don't have enough work, you don't have enough labor to regrow rice immediately, berries end up being more efficient than rice because they're more work efficient. But I know, I know people are coming in all the time, so don't fault you for it. No worries. 
This hospital does all operations, including drill operations. YouTube's doing ads every every four minutes. It's a five second ad. Yeah, YouTube changed how ads work a couple months ago where I can't even I can't control it anymore. I was talking about that in the comments to someone. They were like, I know it's not your fault. They did it to my channel too. But for anyone that doesn't know, it used to until a couple months ago on YouTube, I could tell it to only play skippable ads. That was I and I did, like that was my options. But now now I have three options. Conservative, normal, and aggressive. And I always choose conservative. So those are the different ad levels, and that's the only options I get. I can't specialize it any other way with the live stream anymore on YouTube. So whatever you are seeing on YouTube for ads, that's the conservative amount of ads. God, I can't imagine what aggressive is like. We should do a test stream sometime that's just like a private stream. Like you have to have the link, and I'll do like an hour stream on there of something. And we should put it on aggressive just to see what it looks like. My wife is summon granny. Let my dog granny used to say. I don't see a difference. Canadians, cannibals, they all seem the same to me. Stop being a hindrance to the profits of our oligarchs. Yeah. You can grow Nutrifung- Nutrifungus is also kind of a waste in hydroponics. I have no idea why we grow Nutrifungus in a hydroponic. Nutrifungus... I mean, you can do it. I don't think it means you should, though. Nutrifungus has basically no fertility sensitivity. In fact, it has less fertility sensitivity than potatoes. And you can grow Nutrifungus just... in, like, under the mountain. For people that like Nutrifungus, you could just grow it in fungal soil. So you'd be spending a lot of power and steel and components on something that makes it gr not grow any faster. And it doesn't need light. So yeah, if you if you are a tunneler, if you, which is the people that like Nutrifungus, just grow it, never grow it in, in... Don't tell me never. I mean, you're hurting yourself if you grow it in a hydroponic basin. <laughs> You're making one of the most efficient foods in the entire game, one of the least efficient as far as like power consumption and work and stuff. Yeah, you can even grow it in a building with no light, like out here. Yeah. You don't even need. Yeah, I would not grow it in hydroponics. Yeah. As far as food goes, without a mod, the best foods to put in hydroponic are rice and and berries. That's it. Usually rice and very rare circumstances berries. Now the other thing, the, the the best cash crop for hydroponics without a mod is oddly enough cotton, because they have made it so that cycloid plants has reduced fertility sensitivity uh, as of 1.4. Cotton, hops, and smoke leaf, all three are relatively even as far as profits, if that's what you're looking for. But sometimes you're uh, yeah yeah new tries to turn the lights. I would suggest not doing it in hydroponics, though. Like, you don't need hydroponics to grow it. You can just grow it under a roof. But, as always, just, this is from a min-max perspective, right? If you want to do it, you're doing it for any any reason like that, whatever. You just want to do it. It's just how you like having it set up, or it's what you're used to, or whatever. But from a min-max standpoint, you don't want to do those things for sure. All right, Cave Boy, another grown, homegrown... You cannot grow Devil Strand in a hydroponic without a mod. Yeah. This is all you can grow in it without a mod. This is all DLC, no mods. You cannot grow. D Devil Strand would be incredible in hydroponics, but you can't do it without a mod. Beer killer. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, beer killer. Yeah, if you're using a mod to grow everything in hydroponics, then hydroponic corn and Devil Strand would be amazing. But, yeah, need a mod. All right. This is a homegrown kid, right? Tough. Tough jogger. You definitely used to be able to grow Devil Strand in hydroponics without a mod. If you did, it was before like beta 18. So that was like more than more than like eight. More than nine years ago. So I can't comment on any time before then. That's when I started, but 
Tough jogger. Nice. Nice job, kid. Nice job. <laughs> Is Adam coming back? No. Have a royalty playthrough? This is a royalty playthrough, yeah. We're doing royalty right now. But yeah, I have some other royalty playthroughs on, on YouTube, but that's literally what we're doing. We're we're gonna do the royal victory in this one. It was only Zul. But yeah, I, and again, a lot of people will use a mod and not realize, not remember it's a mod or think it's a base game. That's completely fine. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but that happens a lot. But yeah, Hydroponic haven't been able to grow Devil Strand as far as I'm ever since I've been playing and I the first time I played was like beta 18 or something so that's like a long time ago Devil Strand Hydroponics is removed in Alpha 15 so that was removed like all like yeah so like eight or nine years ago <laughs> it's crazy so yeah before my time before my time uh, I'm counting as a finished product yeah so the reason I know this about the cash crop is from Rimmianship. Rimmianship is a competition where we try to get as much wealth as possible. And Smurf and I have talked about this a lot in a private Discord channel where we're trying to figure out what the best thing is to get high wealth in that. And after the last Rimmianship, we were looking at Excel sheets that have every single crop in it and every kind of soil that you can grow it in and everything that you can turn it into and how much time it takes and how much wealth increase and which one is most wealth efficient and which one is most time efficient. Um, hang on, I'll show, I'm not gonna go through it, but I'm just, I'm just gonna show you really quick if I can bring it up, how crazy this, this chart is that, yeah, here we go. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, no wonder you guys get the highest wealth. All right, so you have this chart. It has every quality, the chance at each quality for every single item, the percentage for the that, the construction speed for this. We have it for cooking. This is Smurfs doing, by the way. I just ask him questions and he figures it out and then he puts it in here so I can access it as well. Here's for drugs, miscellaneous, textiles, production, plants, wood stuff, cloth stuff, devil strand, plasteel. You get the idea. You get the idea. Nerds. But yeah, so Smurf has done all this. This is Smurf's work. But if there's something that I that he doesn't have the answer for, I generally will ask him, like, what about? And then he goes and he checks it and, and he updates this. So this is that's how I know this information. If you're like, how do you know that cloth is a good money crop in hydroponics compared to, well, that's how. Smurf needs a hobby. This, that is his hobby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Excel sheets games, yep. Yeah. You started in point sixteen and didn't there. Genie boy! Alright, Genie boy, come on. Come on, Genie boy. Wow. So, the thing is, he's already going to be kind of maxed in crafting. Because that's all he's ever going to be doing. He's just always going to be crafting. So, we could make it so he has quick sleepers, so he's up crafting more often. Or we could have very neurotic where he's crafting faster. Now, the problem is, if he becomes a vampire, well, he's going to have a passion in it too, right? I'm thinking very neurotic might be the way to go, but he's going to have a lot more breakdown. So overall, he might end up... I mean, we can keep him happy, especially if he ends up getting a burning passion in this. Yeah, let's do that. You buy that? I'm not sure if it's publicly available. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Unfortunately, he didn't roll any of these that we wanted. So, whatever. The genie, you can beat him. Yeah, but I'm not going to if, he's, if he ends up being one of the vampires. I guess some things are going to be rewritten anyway. Well, hang on. Let me take a look at him. Yeah. If he becomes a vampire, he might end up being a slave. Hmm. 
Yeah, the passion's actually from great crafting, right? So hopefully we can... Hopefully we can roll a passion into crafting just in case. Yeah, he's turning out to be a really good pawn. It's quick sleeper effect death rest. I don't know, yeah. I don't think it would, but I don't know, actually. I know he'll stop being a genie, yeah. That's why I was saying that we might end up having to roll... Try to roll him into uh, crafting inspiration, but... It doesn't impact it. Yeah, it didn't... It doesn't seem like it would, but yeah, I didn't know. All right, how much time until the user back up? Five days. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some death, death rest going. Yeah, it's fine. I'll melee block if needed. Might not be a good idea to have all these need and death rest around the same time, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, do death rest caskets count as beds for raid pathing for like breachers? I imagine they would because they're assignable. I haven't tested it, but everything else that is an assignable spot like that seems to count. So even like pet beds and non-medical sleeping spots. So I bet they would, but I haven't tested it. They don't have another bed, they'll just sleep in it, so, yeah, so. Probably does, then. Probably does. Melee God run the other day, you noticed when you implanted genes, they would keep everything from their old gene line. Didn't overlap the new one. Did you use my downloaded Melee God's Xenotype, or did you make your own? And it depends on where the genes are. I, it's, I wish they would kind of go over this more in the game. But basically, germline genes stay. And xeno genes can be overwritten. These are like, they're hard-coded genes, pretty much, right? And these are the ones that write over the top of it. Can be similar? Gotcha, yeah. By default, that's how it works, I should say. Hard coded genes. That's right. Right. And we're still like almost 200 people away from where we're. I don't usually have the viewer count up, but I did after the Twitch drop. We're like 200 people away from where we were. It's crazy. Semi pro well. Oh, uh, yes. The raiding days. Double caskets for vampire couples. Someone was saying there's a mod for that, which makes sense. Yeah, so Quick Sleeper doesn't impact it, but it does count as a sleeping spot for Breachers. That's what I'm gathering by the, by the chat. Uh, we're going to need a Stellark bedroom at some point. I'll turn this into more bedrooms. We could start working on this in general. Mm. How wide is this? It definitely needs pillars if we want to do that. Uh, yeah, it's fine, though. Work on that while we're stuck inside of these animal attacks, I suppose. This genes his pockets. Colony spawn on the map if you kill one close to you, or do you have to travel longer for every colony? Travel longer for every colony. Aside from uh, these things, these raid targets, they will keep spawning. But actual colonies like these, once you destroy them, they're gone. Love on the TV and the phone. Nice. Thank you, Brayden. Drive home. All right. Be safe. Be safe. Be 
increase thing. Let's make mine screws until we have X. And that way we just have three in stock, which is kind of silly. Never thought I would even be making mine screws, so it's interesting. Drop those on the floor. Uh, Div, 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 the brand new sub also. Thank you, Div. Cleave Bear. Yeah, I remember some of that crazy patches, yeah. A beef soup. Alligator lizard, welcome in. So now that we get we're getting all this stuff, we can actually start thinking about replacing things as well. So let's make man, we need a bunch of gold. I probably shouldn't start on that yet. Until we get some, I know we have a little bit of gold out in the mountain still. There's like 45 here, but we have to make a crown. No, we don't have to make a crown. Give them a what? Studer. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Studer. We do have the half cyclers now, too. Teetailer ideology. We tried giving them other ideologies. If I really wanted to min max it, I could have made another ideology that's basically exactly ours, but also hate drugs. But. One of the problems with having the other ideologies, it does they don't have the terror slavery in it. So we'd have to only have terror slavery. Like man porkism, for instance, aligns with ours. Man porkism, but none of the other ones. Ian Stooner. Hmm. So what do I want to I think I think getting Prestige Marine armor on my characters needs to melee block in so much is probably a good idea. It's 100 gold. Uh, getting the Marine helmets going for the other melee blockers also a good idea. Especially because brain, brain shots are the only thing that can kill us, right? So... All right, let's go with normal legendary. Actually, let's just, yeah, it's fun. Marine stuff. Cataphract stuff. And I think I'm just going to make those for the other vampires right now. So I know his is tattered. So we'll make like five of those start out. It'll take a little while. We need that gold to make more advanced components. Bears are gone. We need to pop this open. We also got a little gold there, huh? So let's get mine into there sometime. You plant toxic potatoes. Yeah, yeah, we could plant them out here. No reason to because we have this going, but... We're also going to set this up as the gene area, huh? Ah, we can make another gene area. Fine. All right. So for the stellar room, we'll do a seven by nine, which is a little bigger than what I normally do, but. We have we don't have a lot of jade right i don't think we've scanned any either boss uranium what do we have there limestone Ugh. All right, we'll get rid of that. Do a Nomacantor. Yeah, Nomacantor since we just did a Mechanator run. Yeah. 
No mechanic to her. Age break. Why? Oh, I need to set them for a thrall and just make sure they can't go out. So can you guys get all the way out? No, okay. Because they are eating at tables and things like that, which they... It's making them have too high of a mood. Alright, so yeah, a little bit more gold in there. Oh god, a lot more. Why Gravy Baby? It just came out with the name Gravy. That was his default name. I don't know. So I just added Baby to it. Gravy Baby. Yeah, I just, I just was born with that name. <laughs> For some reason. What the parents named it. That's uh, Jimbo and Muffins. Seems like what Muffin would have named it. For vampires, use more see when Cool melee weapons, five steel helmets, masterwork stats. Oh, oh, uh, a mod. I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Without a mod, the best thing will be a cataphract. Cataphract helmets. We're getting started on that. We got some more children that are going to be hitting growth moments pretty soon, right? Yeah, drug-free boy is going to become a drug-free man soon. Perhaps, perhaps. Drug-free boy. He came to us this way. So he needs to roll tough if he doesn't want to become a slave. Because he's not a homegrown colonist, you know? The other ones are self-explanatory, yeah. A concert? I'm holding a concert! Alright, nice. Gather around, peasants. Hey, you get out of here, Jasper. You can't get a mood boost from this. Without this mod, you would want to keep slave mood high. Yep. You want to keep slave mood high, and you want to keep them suppressed. But even with that, concert concluded. Even with that, they're gonna sometimes try to escape. Wow. Hell concert, plus eight, nice. Way to go, I'm great at the piano. Concerts are a thing, they are in royalty, yep. Yep. <laughs> Royal concerts. Hey, can someone kill this raccoon? Thank you. This is some sort of animism you didn't know about. Uh, oh, the person that was saying that all these. Yeah, I got you. Oh, oh. Atomism, is that being, is that a Crusader King thing? Really? <laughs> Being naked in Crusader Kings, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go out right now, so. Non-traditional trade, 10 robes for 12 honor. I don't have the material for the robes, fortunately. Rarely touch the royals, always do the animatory if you want side cast. Aesthetic royals are really good. I'm not doing aesthetic royals this time, but anyone that doesn't know, if you have an aesthetic royal, they don't need any of the royal stuff. They just, they're just happy being in poverty, right? So. What title? We're currently a knight and we could go up to Praetor right now. Architect I would be nice too, yeah. But I don't have the stuff to make robes. Usually, I mean, it, it would probably give us like 20 days to do it, but. We'll leave it. We'll see. Right now we're trying to get our food stocks back up and we still need to get another couple blood bags. Everyone's done death resting, so more stuff will be getting done now. The vampire run, yes, you have to be underground. No. 
Uh, vampires actually are unhappy underground. It's just part of the thematics of this. What about infestation risk? Infestations are one of the easiest major events of the game. I've had probably, I don't even know, 15 infestations. So I just, we just killed them. We just killed them. So for anyone that doesn't know, in 1.4, they have halved the raid points of infestations. So whatever you were getting on your current difficulty about infestation or with infestations before 1.4, you will now get half of that. Yeah, we eat them. Yeah, we eat them. we're not tunnelers, but we eat them. As long as you have a place to melee block and you have like one or two tough pawns, you can handle like infinite, infinite, not really, but you know, no longer 40 hives. No, no, at max raid points, it's only 20 hives now outside of quests. Siege. Yeah, the, the raids are still not as big as they were. Hmm. Careful shooter. Not too happy about that, though. Oh god. And low shield. I mean Hans I lose in the losing the fire. I I think it was like six, somewhere between six and eight. Something like that. There's some horses over there. Hmm. Oh god, it's Lou. Save her. <laughs> oh, those weren't close enough. Yeah. Oops. Uh, no, we haven't had a single sapper raid. Nope. Sappers are pretty rare now that their their percentage is split with breachers. Really gum. It's gonna wake up the bugs. Is Grand Slave Rebellion rare? Haven't seen it. Uh, Grand Slave Rebellion in a normal run, you can, if you keep them suppressed, the days between those are so high that you probably aren't gonna see them very often. You can actually go into your uh, slave thing here and look at suppression and it'll tell you the rebellion inter interval. So you might just have a really high interval. Sexual days, 68 months at tier three. That is forever. You get insatiable. What does animal work call do? Uh, Yeah, it's kind of like it makes them go berserk and attack enemies for it for a time. It's almost like a 
animal mind control in a way, but it's a proximity thing. Hey, the the golden emote. I think I'm going to have some more emotes made. I know I've been talking about that this last week, but I'm I'm happy with the two new Rimworld emotes I had made. I'm thinking about getting some more of those. Uh, in, in Demon. In Demon, thank you for the three months. Welcome back. Very much appreciated as well. Are they not going to wake those up either? Wow. We're just going to have to deal with them. Come on, prisoners. I really should change that over to double so this doesn't happen. I got the shooting back there, please. Oh, here they come. Almost died. Almost died. Uh, save them, cave boy. Probably have some more plasteel. We gotta find some to mine though. We don't have a lot. I'm gonna be able to make any more of those helmets actually. Um here, inject some go juice. And then kill these. Oh, I don't have that filled in. Whoa, we used to have another door there. Right. I got destroyed a long time ago. Never remade it. Uh, I deconstructed that a long time ago. Tagged by fox people. I've never looked at them and thought of them as foxes that eat the Keaton. I think of them as Wookiees with tails. Always has two moods, too much steel. And too much plasteel. There's no such thing as too much plasteel. <laughs> Yeah, I've never, I've never looked at them and thought of them as foxes. Day 1000 begging for more bug content with RimWorld. Are bugs on? No, they're not. Maybe later. Uh, clear this. There's some jade up there, actually. There is such thing as too much plasteel and uranium. Uh, I think if you're playing unmodded, there's probably not a such thing as too much plasteel. <laughs> no. I can have enough plasteel to make every wall out of plasteel and... You know. Everything that is plastealable out of plasteel, I would do it. Let's go on. Flavor West, welcome in. Uh, let's get another one of these down here.
Gain more steel. Nice. Unmodded is never enough plastelia. Free bush. Uh, got infection. Uh, him being in a good hospital bed is going to make him happy, unfortunately, but don't want him to die. Jimbo, go ahead and preach health on him when he lays down. Where are you, Gray Bush? There he comes. Oh, this person has an infection too. We can do about that. Hopefully they survive though, because we want to... Well, I didn't even check them. But we, want to... we need more blood bags. Yeah, more blood bags. They run without Psycast, which is a good way to deal with psychically deaf readers with rockets. So there's a couple of things you can do. One, you can have a few small animals that are zonable, that are trained, uh, or, or that you keep. It could even be squirrels or rats or something. And you just send them toward the raid and they'll use all the rockets on it. The other thing is you can have a ally that you call just to absorb the rockets. I do that a lot in those kind of runs. Or when I see an explosive raid, doomsdays, triples, or whatever, I will call an ally just to come in and get hit by rockets. And then I'll go take care of the rest. So if you're afraid of rockets in any kind of run, those are two ways to get them to expend their rockets. You can also use psychic insanity lances. Those are really good. So if you use an insanity lance, the person... Uh, that you use it on is going to go berserk and all their friends are going to shoot rockets at them. So use it on if you if you can choose who you use it on, use it on someone that's going to uh, be up through a couple gunshots because rockets are slower to fire than than any guns, even like snipers. So use it on someone that's more heavily armored. But if you can't reach someone like that, just someone in the front line and hopefully they'll shoot some of the rockets before. In fact, a lot of times any of those strategies will cause them to have friendly fire damage too. If you get really lucky, some of them will use their low shields and the explosions will blow up on the low shield and kill almost the whole raid. Yeah, those are three pretty good ways to have pirate raids use the explosives on, on themselves. Steel. Why don't you use a non flammable door to avoid the non flammable doors, for the most part, are all slower to open. But yeah, it, it'll be it'll be okay. We'll be okay going forward. And I'm not leaving all the doors open in most cases because of sunblocker and therefore animals coming in to eat everything. Like this guy. Oh, we got another foam pack. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried of what happened yesterday happened again. Well, they said without, they said specifically without Psycast, right? Yeah, with Psycast, you have more options, of course. Skip Shield, Berserk, Berserk Pulse. What, what? Yeah, you got a lot more options. I mean, I can keep naming Psycast, I guess, but. Um. Is that second hit or first? Okay. Don't use and quit. Restart. So, to go with the animal thing, too, you can even drop pod small animals in the middle of them. Like, there's a lot of ways, but basically, calling in allies, having animals, this is without Psycast or a Psych Insanity Lance. All three of those are really good at causing raids to use the rockets. Yeah, that's true. That's risky, and I wouldn't... I definitely wouldn't advise it. Oh, my God. Definitely wouldn't advise that on No Pause, but, of course, most people don't play No Pause, so... But I gotta remember that oftentimes my answers will be from the point of view of someone that's Pausing. Well, we had a normal raid, you know. We did have a normal one. So. We 
conversion already on this guy? He's going to survive. It's just his foot. He's going to survive, but we could... Oh, we're going to cut that off anyway. Stall peg leg, left leg, and stall peg leg, right leg. Yeah. What are we, what are we doing? Can you use a pacifier on the cell arc? Pacifier? What do you mean? You can't use any psychast, even beneficial ones on the cell arc, because they get unhappy. They, they count it as a hostile act. But you can use the pleasure cycle in the bioregenerator. So I recommend that if you have, uh, you know, if you have the other, if you have ideology, that when the cell arc gets to your place, just keep shoving her in the pleasure cycle over and over. As a like a baby? <laughs> oh God, Jimbo. Try no pause and die on your first raid. Shotgun destroyed the brain of your doctor. Can you imagine the rest? I'll have to watch part four of this one. Oh, man. Can't wait till you get to the great fire of 5506. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay. One leg removed. Human production in her world? What do you mean? Like humans making things? Or do you mean like reproduction like children? Strand Alien Dawn. Uh, I have not tried it, but no, a lot of people have suggested I try it, but I haven't yet. Okay, remove left leg, remove right leg, and Imogen Farm. An Architect pacifier. <laughs> You went berserk because Jimbo was going to cut off his leg. Yeah, it makes it makes some sense. Don't blame him for that one. No positive for psychopaths. No. That's how I enjoy the game. Have I checked if there's any weird interaction in toy boxes? No, I haven't tried anything with, with that. It's, it is an actual item, but it's from a mod. <laughs> there's an Arcotech pacifier. Yeah, that's interesting. I had no idea, yeah. Capture women, harvest their ovums, and... Use growth vats. Uh, growth vats and raising children in general are very strong, regardless how you get the initial. Oh, okay. Regardless how you get the initial uh, specimens. Yeah, growth vats are extremely. Growth vats and children in general are extremely strong. You can just raise god pawns. First of all, join your colony, but at a high risk of brain damage. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's a modded thing. Yeah, I didn't know. But in unmodded, yeah, the only thing you can do with a Stellark, aside from just literally keeping her... What? Oh, right. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, aside from just keeping her with all the stuff that she wants, just put them in the pleasure cycle over and over. He's on four on bed rest, so I, when I was like, oh god, why isn't he bed resting? But he's going to survive. Great for nuking food stores as well. Yeah, you definitely want to use a more efficient food for vats, so you want to use baby food. That's the only reason I made baby food was because it's the most efficient in the vat. Pass fire from Glitter Tech is a knife. Hmm. Reach your level. I'm going to play. No pause. But maybe 4,000 hours from now. It, as always, just play whatever you have most fun with, right? Just do whatever is most fun for you. I've converted some people to no, no pause for sure. That's like when Smurf first came here a couple years ago, he hadn't played no pause and he had like 8,000 hours in the game or something, even at that point. And now that's all he plays to. Unlimited power source. What? Is what unlimited power source? Good 
go, animals. I got things to do. I guess we could work on this anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Is that going to be big enough for the Stellark? I might make it a little bit larger. Can't remember the dimensions for the Stellark. We'll go nine instead. I just don't remember. Toxfire Generator. We don't have it all set up, but yeah, Toxic Fire Generators are very, very good, very efficient. And hopefully we'll have the whole setup at some point. Uh, when you do vat growing, do you leave them to maturity? If you're wanting to actually make god ponds, you want to vat grow them until they're three, and then you want to take them out and make sure they get uh, their highest growth tier all the way till 13, and then shove them back in there at 13 until they're 18 so they get the adult body size. I know it's going to look like they have the body size, but they're actually going to have less HP and less drug tolerance until they're 18. So... Uh, let's see. That would be my advice if you're going to try to raise them into god ponds. Like, super good. Choose what they have. Amazing ponds, right? I'm just going to use slate so it all looks the same. I'll mine this too, even though I don't want to. Reddit is your tox fire generator. <laughs> don't get power from it, though. The door thing is going to be patched out in the next update. I don't know, because it's like a fundamental thing of how the game works as far as rooms go, but we'll see. Use kibble to fill the vats. Uh, yeah, you can use whatever you want, but the most... Kibble is not very efficient, unfortunately. The most efficient thing is paste meals, but that's really hard to micromanage. And next is baby food, but... Yeah, now, if you're only looking for soldiers and you don't care about their traits, you can leave kids in the vat all the way from birth until 18, and uh, occasionally they will pop out with a stat that's either 18 to 20, generally in shooting or melee, but they might end up with crappy traits. What's the max stuff for maxing the child learning strat? All you need to do is have three blackboards connected to a desk and then make sure you have the other things they want to do. So have a comms console, have an area where they can go outside and run, and then basically a desk connected to three... See, it caps out at three blackboards. That's it. They won't recreate, so you might as well set their schedule to all anything. Injury base and units. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember how much of each. No extended pace mods. Great. Set up a pace network. Give them insect nutrition. Insect pace. Mm -hmm. They can't do recreation, so all anything seems to do the same thing. Yeah. As long as you have all the things for them to do, you have a desk with three blackboards, they should should end up hitting up to you. Now, you might get some kids that join you that already are not uh, or don't have very much percentage, you know, and you can't really do much about that. For the camels, the camels died. We're going to replace them at some point. Genie boy, your gun or weapon. Right, okay. Schedule the work the mines all day. They might not get top growth tier that way, though. best thing for carnivore animals we were talking about that's pretty other side of the spectrum we were talking about the, the most efficient min max thing for growth vats <laughs> oh big plague big plague Uh, cave boy, get in this.
Styling station. It doesn't really matter where that is, I guess. Mm. Hardly used. Throw it over there. Hey, Tim Decay boy. Did you already do it? Oh, I guess so. Uh, Jimbo, let's preach health on him. Drop K, boy. I don't hear the cobras barking anymore, so let's go open this back up. Uh, Genie boy, you're nearby. Open that up. Okay. We have power conduit, not in walls. So there's two reasons. First off was because we didn't smooth walls early on. But the second reason was for the theme to make it look cooler initially. So probably something I'm going to redo some of, but yeah, it was like, there's no reason to have even this out to the middle, but it was just like the aesthetic the theme. Cobras bark now. They've always barked. Yeah. That's what it sounds like anyway. Oh, man, I might end up having to have them get in the actual hospital, which is unfortunate. Move that stuff over. Okay, boy. Lay down. What's wrong with you? Am I going to make anything else out of this? I'm going to need it for the crown, right? <sighs> Looks cool, yeah, unsafe and yeah. unsafe and also ugly. I mean the the pawns think it's ugly, so Mo, make another hospital bed. Uh the slaves are gonna be happy in the beds. Don't want to have to restart the slaves again. Draw a body onto an empty paste meal dispenser. It will still make a paste meal. You can't use the whole body. Draw again a nutrient paste meal on the hopper. Give infinite food. Uh, you can put paste back through like that, but it doesn't make more than what you put in. So, yes, it's a way. So, it's a micromanage thing for sure. It's it's typically not worth it. But one of the interesting things with the uh, paste dispenser in that way is that it cleanses the food. So if you have human meat that goes through and you have a human meat paste meal and people don't like human meat, they'll be upset. But if you put a human paste meal, if you if you micro it so that you drop the human paste meal onto a hopper and it goes back through again, then they eat it, they don't know there's human meat. So if you process the human meat twice, it's not really like something you're going to do, but it is an interesting quirk of nutrient paste in the world. I don't understand good design when they see it. Like giant conduit running through everywhere. Right, they don't. Slab beds would give them, would make them happier than sleeping here. So. But yeah, maybe for the sleep, medical beds only, yeah. Same with fungus. Yeah, any food that goes through the nutrient paste twice, any meal that goes back through, it cleanses what kind of food it is. Like, another waste pack infestation. I'm so sick of animal events. Sick. Uh, 
I need raids! Barry had more raids today than yesterday, oddly. Hey! I don't know. Kill them before they destroy all that. Crap, Grey Bush. Well, great. There goes those mortars. Luckily, we have more mortars on the map, so. Well, at least the uh, scanners are safe, huh? Bugs, bugs. Hey, boy, get back in there. You guys do it anyway. Scratch scar on the neck. Fantastic. You're missing a kidney. You might die from this. They are going to, uh Grey Bush is going to die unless we have a kidney to replace the, uh Hey, you guys don't need your kidneys. Well, I mean you need one of them. Yeah. Alright. Uh harvest left kidney. I'd say now would be a good time to add all so your slaves can shoot. Or rebalance it made more animal bins. No, it's just it's just luck, yeah. It's luck. Or bad luck, whatever you want. Call it. Okay, kidney. I don't know if this will save him in time, but we're gonna try it. Uh it's all kidney left kidney. Okay, so now his blood filtration is going to be back up. Now, what about you? You're actually our crafter right now, so that would really suck to lose him. But he probably should be fine now that he's in a hospital bed. Raids today have been bugs. Uh, we've had two or three in... Either two or three infestations already today. Yeah, we have melee... Is honorable, so slaves get the weapons that make them unhappy, the ranged weapons. Mm -hmm. Sure, I like you being out there, but... So yeah, will we'll Grey Bush catch up? I don't know if we can get another preach health, but yeah, it's not gonna be up in time. Don't know. He has his kidney now, so he might he might actually catch it. Tending spires. Uh, we need to retend now. We need a high percent, seventy percent. As high as you can get with herbal medicine. So uptime. Uh, it should say below the video, but. Been up on YouTube for maybe like two hours, 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, so it looks like they are catching it. Gray Bush, though. I think he's going to make it. I think he is. Kind of looks like he will as long as as long as he gets tended to. Pretty close. There, he caught it. He caught it. Caught it in the 80s. We'll keep an eye on it, though. But I think he's good. Scan steel. Okay. It wasn't the end of the world if he died. He wasn't one of the most important slaves, but... He's good. He's good. Alright, more steel. Alright, everyone is going to survive the plague. Nice. Okay, Stellark Room. Let's go ahead and get that set up for them. So it'll be nice to have one for quests as well. Like hosting royal quests, things like that. Mm-hmm. 
Why am I under the vitals? Because I don't want to have to restart and reset. Right? Like, yes, they're not vital, but the more times we have all of our slaves dying or any slaves, it sets us back more and more and more. We'd be so much further ahead if we hadn't lost slaves along the way. Lots of them. We're down to the wire there. Yeah, replacing the kidney ended up being clutch. Yeah. All right, they're done with the plague, so we're going to kick them out of this. All right. The Great Fire Incident, for instance, yeah. Speaking of, now that we are mining so much steel, we're going to put one of these in all the rooms. That'll be a good start there. Those slaves, they left on their own. Yeah. <laughs> I misplaced them. I don't know where they went. I've lost track of them. At least. They're clipped the fire incident. I'm not sure if anyone clipped it. Uh, Amortis. Hopefully I'm getting your name right. Thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Amortis. And Savvy, thank you for the 16 months. Bombing 60 months is forever. Forever, bombing. I'm still calling you by that name. When did you change your name? That was probably like, literally like 50 months ago. Uh, Monika, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Monika. Magic friends, bombing. Sab, or just thank you guys. You see how much Genie Boy is breaking down now that he is very neurotic. <laughs> uh. Why I care about things much more tired in your colonies. You're more of a tyrant than giving them a mind screw, ripping out their tongue, making them go outside and kill their brother, butcher their brother and eat his raw meat. I don't know what more you could do. I don't know what more you can, how more, much more evil you could be. Yesterday, I brought a pack of camels in and made them crap on their beds. And then I had a group of children come in and beat baby camels to death. To get camel blood on the thralls beds beds like i don't know adam when are you gonna do evil stuff i don't know sometime they can wear socks and walk through puddles it's been like four years ago that's crazy yeah i remember that yeah i remember that sleeping spots not even beds maybe we are the same <laughs> Ah, he's fine. I don't get the benefit of bed. That's right. Collection of goodies. No recent conquest. Did we have a, any other good ones pop up? We have these steel ones. We have kind of infinite steel, though. Uh, I do want to do this worshipful village. Worshipful village. I wonder if that will count. No. Steal the steel. Home zone, they look clean now. No, it's just hard to see that it's still dirty, but they're still dirty. It's not in the home zone. It's a part of you that wants to do an evil run now, too. Wrong. That's just another Tuesday. Thank you, Bison. Little village without the people getting mad. Uh, no. No, no you're going to make the tribals mad either way. Now, some of these missing legs have caused problems, so I think I am going to replace some of these legs. So, we need... Oh, we only need one leg since uh, the the other ones that were missing legs are no longer with us. Yeah, they're no longer with us.
With paws, you could do it with invisibility and fire skip. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go soon. Acidic smog. Excuse me. You can kill them before you take the thing. Then at least they're not mad about you taking the thing. They're just mad about you killing them. Uh, that works. Where they're going, they don't need legs. All right, so I think me and just like two of them can take out the worshipable village. So as long as we don't take the one that's missing a leg in case we need to kite any, should be okay. We're not gonna take spits there. So we wanna take Kasu and Go with Kasu and Empty Page. And we don't have camels anymore, so it's going to be a little bit slower. We're going to be eating raw food too, which is not great. Starship show up at Glitter World Colonies and a bunch of good boys pop out. Tails wagging up the storm. <laughs> It's always fun when you sell a bunch of animals to a land-based trader. Like when you have you have a ranch and there's like a hundred horses in it, and you sell 80 of them or something, and watching all the horses go and gather around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put one in all the rooms, yeah. I'm just kinda doing it in order of importance, I guess. All dogs go to heaven run, saving all the labs at all costs. All right, village. Village is within the sun blocker, so at least we'll have a combat advantage. Hey guys, we're just here to, um, to worship. Yeah. Worship. That's, that's why we're here. Yeah, shoot at me. I have shield belt. Oh, we got, got someone down. You guys got great bows? They have great bows. Even got some blood bags there. Excellent. Excellent. Um eh. Quest completed. Sell a hundred ducks and watch them all march single file. By the base, yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a bug. It took them a while to fix it. Oh, I have low image now, but that's fine. It took them a while to fix it, but there was a bug where the caravans would uh there's a couple there was a lot of actually caravan bugs with animals but one of them is the caravan would literally stick around and starve because they couldn't get all the animals out they couldn't rope them all up or like the animals would be given birth or something and i don't know there was all kinds of weird stuff oh god do you guys remember when biotech first came out all the like some of the bugs with babies where you would have you could literally have someone show up and leave their baby behind. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, Gia, welcome in. Dog rescue runs. Toss that. I read that. 
Also, get your artifact without having to do the more evil ones. Yeah, you can just abandon the worshipable village one yet. We'll get another shot. Not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> Maybe the most powerful ability. Quagulate is incredibly strong, yeah. For sure. People giving birth during raids and weird stuff, yeah. Weird stuff. Starvation. Just go eat food. The freezer baby thing still happens. So the game, if a baby is... Let me set this up. Remove left leg, remove right leg. If the babies are in unsafe temperature, they will put them anywhere else that is the opposite of that temperature to try to stabilize the temperature as fast as possible. So if you have a baby that's somewhere that's warm, they will take them and throw them in the freezer, try to cool them down. They'll just leave them there to die. I think it's too cold, though. They'll take them and put them in warm places. I can understand, like, why they have that set that way, but in practice, it doesn't uh, always work out very well. Quick, warm up the baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jackie. Time for a raid. But I'm nine months pregnant and in labor. Yeah, but do you have paid time off? Well, no, we don't offer that here, do we? Infection on giraffe is in your legs. Excellent. Fantastic. So we'll just move that right leg up in the surgery queue. drug-free boy is trying to operate? No, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, no. He was trying to unload him. Okay. I was like, no, this is not... It's not a good idea. Yeah, they're trying to unload him. He's carrying stuff. Are the babies from a mod? No. Babies are added in biotech. So biotech is the third full DLC for RimWorld, and babies were one of the things that were added. And they are incredibly powerful, as weird as that sounds. Come on, Jasper, hurry up. Got legs to chop here. This is a mod for baby as well. Give free medical care to the people who raided me. That's right. Actually, I raided them this time, but you know. Can't you remove it without... Oh, you're right. Since it's infected, we don't even have to do the peg leg first. That's right. You can skip a step here. We just amputate right leg and then install peg leg, left leg. Yeah. Skip a step, save some wood. There we go. There we go. All right, image and farm. This should mean that we can make another vampire. We should have enough blood coming in now. Okay, peg leg's there. So now we want to remove that peg leg so they can never get up. Oh, whoops. Remove heart left leg. There we go. All right, nice. So we have... Here's your farm, here's your farm. Farm, 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 farm. Okay, great. And then for you, also, here's your farm. And actually, we'll wait on that. Okay, Jimbo, then remove. We just empty other things too. I think they need less food if they have less body parts. No, that's not how it works. But we could get genes that they need less food.
throw a baby on straight in front of the campfire. <laughs> I'll use mechs. No, I'm not going to use mechs in this because we just finished a Mechanator themed run. So this is literally the next run after Mechanator. So if you want to see the mechs uh, previous run. All right. Yeah, we need to start getting towards gene manipulation for sure. genes that makes a super good blood bag i'm guessing you would just want if, if you are going to have them just laying here you just want whatever makes them need less food and i think that's probably it you could also get like uh one of the immunities so that if a disease comes through you don't have to treat them really or use medicine to treat them so i'm guessing just yeah things that would reduce now if you're gonna have them up and walking things like dead calm and whatnot but ours have no legs so we don't have to worry about that anyway so we'd be looking for genes that just reduce how much food intake they need also yeah we can already feed them raw food that doesn't matter so the no sleep genes they're wide awake and feel everything yeah unfortunately that would make them eat more but yeah they did nerf the experience gain from the hemogen extraction when biotech first came out it counted as like a major surgery every time and you could get to level 20 medical very easily just from extraction like that but they have since changed that okay so did that count as a raid the village still did not count as a raid all right 14 people and 230 gold did we get that leg done Click on it. Click on it. Unfinished. All right, let's see. We must have gotten it finished. Why isn't it moved over here? Oh, we don't have this set for body parts. We just have it set for mind screws only. Okay, there we go. That'll that'll fix that. The nuclear stomachs. Yeah, nuclear nuclear stomachs and like um. Uh, I mean, I guess they would get cancer uh, occasionally they would have to remove, but that's a good question. Would fast wound healing affect the blood replenishing time? I'm not sure about that. Maybe. Maybe we should try to min-max, uh, test some min-maxing of blood bags. <laughs> they have to be infected to remove a body part. Uh, yes, or it has to be already a modified body part. So that's why we have to install peg legs before we can remove their legs unless it's yeah, unless it's infected not a mod of course but still catching up on the end of day two. Oh yeah no worries it's a crazy run thank you for watching this all right so let's go do this raid before i need death rest all right i was gonna do the leg first How many do I need to take with me? I don't know. Hmm. Either way, we want to replace this leg. We don't really need the raid right now. It's just the kids that are unhappy that we're, we haven't con uh, had a recent conquest. Operation. The children yearn for conquest. Have you ever constructed a centipede? Yeah, I've built all the mechs. When biotech first came out, we did all that stuff. Yep, yep. We had all the boss mechs, all the things. That's up on YouTube also. All the things. Uh, let's see. So, blood pumping? I don't know if blood filtration helps it, but blood pumping... 
I don't know. Having them on Lucifer is a little expensive. Get extra. Hmm. How's he holding that AR without arms? It's a good question. <laughs> really good question. I'm just going to go ahead and knock my death rest out and then we'll do a raid after that. Hey, why are you so happy, Greybush? You have a mind screw. It's because you were comfortable in that good hospital bed. Christ. So, now I need you to go stand in some toxic waste to get unhappy. Yeah. He was in the masterwork one. Serious pain, missing tongue, shared bed, tattered apparel, wielding a weapon he doesn't like, cabin fever, unsightly environment, all these things, and yet he's not unhappy enough. Man. Oh. <sighs> Close the friggin' door. This is really crazy. Is it cause the map is so polluted? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think things like that usually matter, like temperature matters, but. All right, well, whatever. Be happy only when he's unhappy. I'm happy only when he's unhappy. Blood filtration is for faster recovery, yeah. From, uh, like, wound recovery. Two groups of one-star wasters. The Planet Zero run it really feels like it. I don't know. Please does he test that? So yeah, just bad luck, I guess. Eating Kimball. They hate eating nutrient paste without a table, too. That's what they're doing, but... It's just... No matter how unhappy they are, like, if, if I tend to them at a hospital bed, they get above five, five right? Because the hospital bed itself is comfortable enough. Cassandra Ge Geographic. What's going on, drug free boy? We haven't conquered anyone. That's true. I could give the kids an impressive barracks. Oh, it's already smoothed. Okay. But hmm. fine floor. Cougars trying to maul me outside. Yeah, it happens. Care slavery over. Symbol slavery because it's thematic. Yes, yeah. We are doing a very themed run. I think the symbol slavery would be easier. Because look how happy everyone else is. We could have just kept everyone this happy and they the slaves would be, you know, just never in risk. But don't worry, once we have the primary roles fulfilled by these children growing up and we don't necessarily need them for anything other than combat, I think I'm just gonna lock them in a little cave with raw food. And only bring them out when we need them to fight. <laughs> like, we're not even gonna let them clean or anything. So once their roles are fulfilled, we have, you know, a vampire crafter, a vampire miner, like a vampire for each one that we can just leave on specialization or something like that. Shove all these guys in a closet. And when a raid happens that we need more than just melee vampires, we'll pop them out. Unleash the feral cave thralls, that's right. Corpse room barracks. Yes, absolutely. Back to order the map. See if it will. Yeah, I guess the only good thing about that is if the raid is preparing on the toxic waste, they'll, they'll start getting unhappy. But does it prevent rebellions entirely if their mood is bad enough? With this mod, yes. With terror slavery, if they are below five mood, it's harder than you would think. 
they're below five mood, they won't have a breakdown and they won't have an uprising. No escapes, no rebellions, and not even any breakdowns. They have to be at five mood, lower than five mood. Can you craft mono swords? No. No, we've been going out and buying those from the Empire. Prisoners with jobs. So we have enough blood bags. We can now get uh, sensitive. Man, change over to a single fish. A long time coming. All right. Sensitive man, perfect timing. He's 17. All right, sensitive man. Let's see here. We got, oh, we can actually make one, two, three. We can actually make three more right now. So as the children grow up, we've got, uh, we got some people for that. I don't have anyone for him to fight. But that's all right. I don't want to, well, I don't want to arrest him anyway. It's fine. All right, so who's the next one on the list? Uh, Kid Jimbo. Ah, Kid Jimbo, you should turn your own children. That's pretty thematic. EQ. We'll have you fight sensitive man. And then he gets a real name. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Now, since it's a vampire man, let's see who's next in the queue. And whoever is next in the queue, you got pretty lucky. We've had so many people be slaves and thralls that have died for you to just squeeze in as a named vampire among all these people getting those. Zamana. It's been a while since Zamana was in a run, actually. They've been in some before, but it's been, I think, years. Years. All right. All right. And food's looking good, so I'm going to switch this back over to a row of cotton. And some drugs. Do you think the queue would be fixed? Um, So some people have reached out on Discord and haven't been able to reply to them yet that are um, going to try to help fix the, the queue situation. Hopefully I'll have time to contact and get that set up this coming week, but we have a lot of IRL stuff that we have to do Monday, Tuesday, and then I have some sponsored stuff on Wednesday. I don't know, but the queue is broken. Right now the queue is an actual queue instead of a raffle like it's supposed to be. You shadow? It does help out. Well, good. Well, good. Okay. Hmm. I don't think bolt good ships sell gene stuff. So honestly, I'm probably gonna take most of this and go trade with the pigs. See if we can get some good genes. So I'm passing. Smash the like button with your Zeus hammer so you have to buy a phone after every a new phone after every stream. <laughs> Thanks. That's very much appreciated. Zamana, the sensitive vampire man, tells her their story, their sensitivity. She had among all vampire children. <laughs> oh God, drop on, get in. Jesus, I was on 4X. Oh, the pigs are enemies again. You better not bomb these children. Oh God, gravy baby. Gravy baby, no! He's probably dead. <sighs> Muscle parasites, great timing. <gasps> Grab 
Baby, baby, I'm coming. Jump. You're gonna be afraid of the fire. Guys, get in here. Oh, what? He's alive. I see alive. Guys, put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put that out, put that out, put that out. Don't let the kid die. Where where are you, Jimbo? Get over here. Coagulate. Coagulate the baby. Center drop on 4X. <laughs> I thought we were friends of the pig still. Boy, I was wrong. I don't know how you're alive, gravy baby. Friggin' pigs. All right, we gotta get we gotta get a uh, turret out there for when that happens. So pretty warm in there after that, but I also broke that door. We need another one of those, and they broke that one. Okay. EQ, come build that. Makes the baby so gravy. That's just the name the parents gave it. I don't know. Freaking pigs. I don't even know when they went hostile. I can't believe gravy baby lived. Gravy baby. No trades. Yeah, I'm I'm work I'm we're working our way there. Yeah, I was talking about that before. Like we're we're putting them in places as we go, but yeah, that was just bad luck that it, the drop pod happened at 4x. So that was a center drop because we're in the mountain. It just dropped nearby. Gotta have some fire foam poppers. Yes, I'm aware that they exist. In fact, I just built 14 of them. Just built 14 of them. We'll, we'll get more. Drug free boys becoming adults. Fine, it's fine. And Zamana almost got grenaded. That was close. They were they were literally about to throw a grenade. I think one hit here actually. A lot of poppers, yeah. Yeah, and we'll have we'll have even more. All right, drug free boy. Teetotaler, fast learner. Are you going to become a colonist or a slave? Not looking great for you, my friend. I think drug free boy is going to be a slave that we force drugs on. Fast learner. So we basically don't want to give him any passions and stuff we're going to make him do because we don't want him to be happy about it. Uh, Neurotic isn't a mood hit. It's a threshold. So... I guess still neurotic, though. Fast walker's good, no matter what, right? Yeah, all right, we'll just take it. Probably good for the slave. Yeah, it would be if it was actual mood hit. But I don't think it will allow us to not choose passions, but he will not be able to do intellect stuff, right? So, and we don't want him to do construction. And he's not going to do crafting. I think that'll be okay. All right. Well, sorry. 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 Wow. He's friends with all of us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, you should have come to us with better passions and things, you know? Better traits. I don't know who your previous parents were, but they failed you. It's not my responsibility.
All right, well, all right. Uh, he has no will. Time to install mine screw. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Install the mine screw and remove the tongue. Should have worked harder in school, kid. You should have done more drugs. God. Uh, have him fight too. Uh, we might have him fight. I'm still gonna do this, then we'll have a fight, yeah. If he dies, I will. We lose a uh, mine screw, it's fine. Gonna choose melee. That's true too. Yeah, for any of those in the future, yeah. Gotta remember that. Whoa. Happy Saturday. How's it going, Germ? We are doing alright. Oh, I need to split the recording. Um, we split the recording for the editor, so it's easier for them. All right, recording has begun. We're back. Editor started working on edits yesterday, so. Oh boy, I don't even know what to think about. Oh, sorry, EQ fan, that was you. I thought that was a slave eating at that table for a moment, and I was was pretty unhappy about that, so. Muscle parasites, yeah, all right. I need to go do that conquest. Was that the second? Yeah. Oh, gray bush. You have a gunshot wound, don't worry. I'm here. Okay, now you don't have one. Congratulations. Okay, let's go do a raid. We gotta get the, that mood. We had a woodwind pop up, 14 people. It's pretty close by. Sheb clan? 1.8 days. Stia? We don't know who that is. I'd rather grab the gold between the two. All right, I will go and we'll take a few of you guys with us. Let's take four. A little dangerous. A little dangerous. All right. Don't take the bedrolls. I don't want those guys getting happy on the road. Uh. Okay. We'll change change our food stuff too, I guess. What? No, 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 no. Okay, there's a cougar hunting genie boy. <laughs> He's delicate. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Cougar would have eaten him whole. All right. Anyway, switch you to. Fine. Hey, did you have your surgeries completed? No. Drug free boy. Ah, oh, man. Fine screw and then removing the tongue. God, man. We raised this kid. Like, I mean, he came to us already, like... To be completely fair about the evil atrocity things we're doing, atrocious things we're doing to this kid, he came to us at, like, already eight or nine years old, right? So, it's really not our fault. It's whoever had him beforehand, right? They failed him, not us. Not us. Not us. We're back. We never left. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not our fault. Yeah. All right, enslave him. Okay. Lumberjack, are you okay, Lumberjack? Thank you for the twelve months. Why, that's almost a full calendar year, Lumberjack. We 
you doing, Jimbo? Jimbo is dancing with the rice. What are you doing? He was trying to move it to get the hemogen. <laughs> he was just like dry, but the pile was still full. So I guess it was just overflowing into another pile and just kept trying to pick it up. Only thing I can gather from that is uh, Jimbo busting a move. Kids got moves. Kids got moves. Uh, right. They can't actually build that because they're not allowed access to it. We'll get him a different slave name at some point. My organ was harvested. Yeah, that does suck. That does suck, drug-free slave. Okay, you're just going to help us with cleaning and stuff right now. Gotta get this place cleaned up, man. It's, uh, it's looking pretty horrendous. We're almost there. Learn the right way to move rice is to skip it. That's right. That's right. Joe Bounty. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Joe. Buddha will be back. Back at the war crime daycare. Back at the war crime daycare. Yeah. There's Toby. That's the only chair. I'm working on it. Just a single player game now. We also no longer have the... Uh, the telescope, unfortunately. Okay, so we want a power turret out here. So if that happens again, they'll have a target. And we can set up. We might want to also put some cover areas here, like basically a shotgun tunnel here. That happening. Center drop raids are relatively rare, but it's... Hey, go consume that corpse. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, Rich, thank you for the six months also. Well, that's almost half a full calendar year. Getting pretty close. Yeah, thank you for the continued support. All right, it's raid time. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh-oh. It is pirates. And they do have frag grenades. Um, They have bolt action, which bolt action is also strong. Ooh, they have a ground penetrating scanner. Look at you guys. Fancy. So fancy. Okay, combat commands. I'm trying to get their longer range gun. Oh, there. The grenades. turrets and no blood bags recovered this time iPhone popper I'll take that there's the gold I don't think we're going to find much else, but. What? That's because we didn't claim everything. Okay. All right. Good. Raid is done.
Two components, advanced components. Uh, we can take the Ambrosia, Fire Foam Popper, sure. Let's take the Golds. The Beer. And I guess we might as well take the Steel. Fancy flooring in a room with nothing in it. <laughs> On Hanny, welcome in. I'm getting that right. Where are you, drug free slave? Clean this area up. Oh, we need that door we made too. Jimbo, work on that. Uh, let's have you on cleaning priority. There we go. Jimbo, we really need this done in case that happens again. We finally had a human raid. It was sensor drop raid. Seems about right. Okay. All right, all right. Infection on Greybush. Greybush, you seem to get injured and get infections an awful lot. He just keeps catching bullets. I don't know. Catch bullets. Oh, Zamana, you're up. Here's Zamana. Take the sword. Take the sword. Actually, you know what? Thrumbo horn. We'll keep the thrumbo horn. I can't believe Gravy Baby lived. I guess they downed from fire is probably why they lived. Oddly enough, because Heat doesn't uh, have death on down, so. You know, IC worker, your internet has been completely dead for the past. After, after my Twitch outage, that's interesting. All right, Gray Bush. Um, we'll preach health. It's fine. Maybe you can continue your work that way too. All right, drug free. Slave, go ahead and get the popper. Excuse me, why am I collapsing the hallway? Oh, my mood sucks. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right, so we need to get a couple more marine helms. That's already queued up, though. So, Genie Boy, when are you going to be 13, Genie Boy? Uh, I see what's happening. Yeah, turn that back off. I was going to go ahead and get some of those for Stellar Room. But not super urgent, I guess. Gravy Baby is strong. Uh, Gravy Baby has a backstory. Well, backstory. Definitely has a backstory now that makes sense for them to dislike fire if they end up becoming a vampire, which they should. They're a colonist grown, colony grown kid. So. Another popper. Uh, let's go ahead and burn apparel to forever. And let's do tainted off utility. Okay. That cleaned out from down there. He almost got burned alive. Yeah, he had to be close to being dead. I didn't check the HP, but I bet he was very close. Going right into the great fire. The second thing is they're not getting learning right now. So, unfortunate. The kid almost burns to death. I'm like, man, why isn't he in school right now? <laughs> I understand. We need to re-ally the pigs. Uh... I 
empty page. So let's unrestrict you. I know that means you're going to eat at a table, but... And muscle parasites again? Ugh. Maybe, baby, did you try to get up too early? Oh, you probably got muscle parasites, didn't you? Oh, ouch. Ouch, that sucks. He almost burns to death. As soon as he gets better, he's walking to his room and he gets muscle parasites. Yeah, that does, uh, it does suck. She had her arm shut off at some point. Uh, we'll replace that after we get done with these helmets. Hmm. Missing Plasteel. Okay. That's what's going on. Have we scanned any close by Plasteel? I just missed some things, but don't remember if we scanned any Plasteel or not. Oh, not a single plastic scan yet. Uh, ancient installation. So that is... If we do both of these, we'll get our relic. Hmm. Yeah, I really do need to ally the pigs again so we can trade with them. They're close by traders, and that will also eliminate the chance of a... Another explosive attack, or an extra explosive. I mean, we'll always have the chance to roll pirates, but... Not having the chance to roll explosive outlanders seems pretty good. Cleaning pollution. <laughs> I, uh, whoops. I was wondering why Empty Page wasn't dealing with animals anymore. You can't tame them because he doesn't have a tongue. So why, why aren't you out there getting these buffalo? Oh. Oh, I see. Because I cut your tongue out. Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, all right. EQ fan, you're going to have to tame them. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, they went to sleep. I have to wait till tomorrow. No excuses. Use sign language. But, sir, the muffalo don't understand sign language. And they understand English? No. There you go. I don't remember what all she needs in her room. I'm just going to put stuff in there and hope for the best. We're going to floor it too. Hear about terrible crimes done against your name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, empty page. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I apologize for ripping out your tongue. I'm just torn up inside about it, actually. Torn up inside. You can tell, right? <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Okay, I guess I finally need to put shells in here instead, so we are going to restrict that... Q fan, we're going to go ahead and unrestrict you. Oh, yeah. I'm not letting them in here because I don't feel like going through and setting the shelves after they're made. So we're just gonna we're just gonna spam these down. And then I can double click that way without selecting any of those ones or like move my screen a certain way. Food! Alright. 
So last time this happened and we accepted refugees, I went out to kill them all. And that's when the base burned down. Probably won't happen again. Well, I mean, this time I'd bring them inside, you know? So, yeah, it's going to need fine flooring. Yeah, I remember that part. We'll get that too. That's one reason why I was cutting those blocks. There is some pawn shopping opportunity, you know? Pro probably, yeah. Probably won't happen again. Growth moment for Gravy Baby. Oh, Gravy Baby. Tier 7. He probably would have hit Tier 8. Probably would have. So, for your first one, and this is a colony kid. This is Jimbo's kid. Industrious, always good. Fast walker, quick sleeper. Great. I'm going to go with Industrious, though. And they didn't really roll anything that we want here. It's unfortunate. Nothing that industrious helps other than art. But. Ah, well. That's just a good sign. Yeah, hopefully he rolls tough the next one or two, but. It's all right. It's all right. Industrious is good. Debt. Six years, 72 months, it's crazy. Like yesterday you were showering. <laughs> it's so crazy, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time, it's been a long time. Thanks, Tet, I appreciate it. Oh, uh, we ended up going to IHOP, by the way. And I tried out their Nashville hot chicken sandwich. The rest of the family got breakfast stuff, but I got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. It was actually pretty good. It wasn't that, it wasn't super spicy though. It's interesting because the waitress, yeah, we we enjoyed it, but the waitress, when I ordered it, she's like, you understand that that's really hot, right? It's really spicy. And I was like, yeah. She's like, it's hotter than like Buffalo. So if you're, if you're thinking it's like Buffalo, it's hotter than that. I'm like, I, I've had, I've had the same kind of stuff elsewhere. Yeah, I understand. And she brought it out. She was like, all right, here it is. Enjoy. Hopefully it's not too hot. And it was way like it wasn't it really wasn't that spicy it was not as spicy even as buffalo what's the scoville skill of nashville hot from ihop i have no idea i don't know if they have that on the on there or not but i was expecting it to be like really spicy because her saying those things and then it wasn't <laughs> it was good it tasted it tasted good but uh it tasted like it tasted like cayenne, right? Because that's what the base of it is. But it tasted like mild cayenne or something. A little sauce of the spice at all? Well, it really depends on the person, yeah. How spicy dash your hot chicken normally? I would say normally it's probably around the same as like buffalo or whatever. Okay, getting white people spicy at a restaurant? Yeah, it's kind of weird having it happen at... Uh, at Olive Garden. Like, I can understand if you go into an Indian place and you order curry and they're like, do you want it Indian hot or white hot or not hot? <laughs> Nashville hot sauce is about a thousand skull fill. Oh, yeah, so not super. Spicy is just the name. Yeah, but it's just funny because she kept white hot. Yeah. <laughs> um, what? The waitress was like, you know this is going to be really spicy. You know? So I was expecting it to be spicier. It was good. It tasted good. But it definitely wasn't very spicy. Anticlimactic? Yeah, I was like, all right. I even told Mod Wife when it came out. I was like, I wonder if I'm going to need something to like cut this with or something. You know, like uh, some ranch or something. I don't know. Or some ice cream. I'm not sure. But no, it was just like... Just good. It was good, though. Restaurants where you are are wimpy with spice levels. Unless it's like authentic Indian place, yeah. 1,000, yeah, is it very high? Like, what is a jalapeno? I don't I don't know. I know some people know all these numbers. Like, what's the Scoville for jalapeno? Like, literally just a jalapeno. Or even buffalo sauce, right? To compare it to something that I have often. A jalapeno is 7,000. <laughs> what? So... The Nashville hot sauce that they used is one-seventh of a jalapeno, and this woman was like, are you sure? 
five to seven thousand depending on the jalapeno. It's funny. <laughs> but again, she might just be super sensitive to hot things, right? Or yeah, or in the past, what really probably happened is she probably got griped at by someone. Unfortunately, someone probably ordered it. And then they were, they probably returned it or something because it was too spicy for that. Yeah, yeah. That's probably real case. From 7,000. So go up. Go on, Dylan. You two autoplay turn on the live stream. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. You fell asleep watching the last one. Yeah, I didn't know if it would do that or not. That's nice. Coworker, have you made a Carolina Reaper extract hot sauce? Tried it once and it ruined your ability to handle hot sauces. Yeah, I'm not someone that's like a connoisseur of the hottest thing, like sauces or whatever, or spice like that. I like spicy stuff, but I also still like to be able to taste the flavor. So I'm not someone that's like going to go buy, you know, a hot sauce that I have to wear a freaking hazmat suit and gloves that comes with a waiver that it's going to destroy my butthole or something, you know? That's, that's like, if you like that sort of thing, all the more power to you. It doesn't bother me, but I'm not like that level, but... The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, chicken she gave me was definitely not super spicy. Minoc, thank you for the gift sub to Heavenly Steel. Thank you, Minoc. Much appreciated. It was good. Yeah, it tasted good. I liked it. Sandwich was good. If you like the taste of cayenne pepper, I would say you will probably like the sandwich. Your brother, who's a gamer, sent by one of his viewers. Carolina Reaper beef jerky. Long to try together. Both are red in the face and screaming. <laughs> I ended up watching, there's this show on Netflix that's called We Are the Champions. And each episode covers a kind of fringe competition culture. And one of them was for... Uh, like spiciness eating competitions. That was pretty interesting to watch. There was literally a couple of people in it that don't feel any, like they have something in their genes where they literally don't feel any spice. And I was like, man, that's kind of cheating, right? How come these are allowed to c compete? Uh, we also need to put these back on lavish. There we go. Might destroy your butthole as a future you problem. <laughs> it's funny that it auto modded you saying destroy your butthole. <laughs> you know what? That part I probably have to agree with Twitch on. Normally, when someone's gonna be in a Twitch chat saying something will destroy your butthole, it's it's it probably should be auto modded. To be fair. The mortars, we don't really super need the mortars. Yeah. And I brought him back in because he has muscle parasites, so. What's the spiciest you've been willing to go? Uh, I don't know. I, I eat quite a bit of like habanero sauces. Maybe that's about, I know that's not like super crazy spicy, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'll try something if I like it. I'll just keep eating it, obviously, but like uh, I have a habanero mango sauce that I use a lot on chicken at home that I really like. <laughs> you can't understand why that's a reason to be flagged. <laughs> All right, so things are looking good. We are in need of plasteel mainly. So we need to scan plasteel. We need to befriend the pigs. So the... Muffalo are going to be used to caravan out and trade the pigs. I bet there's plasteel somewhere in this mountain. But I don't really want to strip mine the mountain because it'll ruin our aesthetic. I've had some ghost pepper stuff, yeah. If I open the door, will the buffalo come to us? Yeah, they might, actually. I'd have to... Hmm... 
risky. I have to open this and make sure we go close it in time. Everything will come to us. That could be beneficial. You injured enough. Just get away. Oh, nice dodge. Uh, Jimbo, coagulate. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, Sam's gonna be hitting us pretty soon, probably, though, or able to. One your mango is great. Both are bottled stuff. The one. And the one you make yourself. Yeah, so I like, I, I like some spiciness, but I'm definitely not like a connoisseur, like I said. It's not like... I want you to keep breeding hotter and hotter peppers. If I accidentally touch it to any part of my body, it'll it'll burn. Dried pod of habanero from Ethiopia. It's so hot it hurt your stomach. The coal burning its way down. I've watched some of hot ones, yeah. Actually, we during my streamathon, because I was streaming like 15 hour days or whatever, I would eat on stream and we'd watch some stuff on YouTube, and we actually watched some hot ones on stream also. And all of those, out of all the things that we checked out on YouTube, all of those got not only demonetized, but they got taken down to where I can't, I can't have them up at all with any part, even a clip of it, which I can understand, but it was kind of crazy. Um, and, and the streamathon thing, it's too long to edit it on the platform. It has to be under six hours to edit it on the platform. So I can't even remove those. So those those vods are just not available outside of uh, outside of Twitch. Am I doing another Marvel stream? I was thinking about it during uh when was that? During January, but or no, during December. But I ended up not getting around to it. Yeah, we watched watched a lot of Marvels. You want to try the hot one sauces? Yeah, I haven't tried any of those either. We love the show. They're uh, they're a good interviewer. I typically will watch ones that I am interested in the person on the show, obviously, the interviewee. But in general, they're just good at interviewing. So, okay. So we need to start working on getting up to count. So gathering gold or more prisoners, but if you get more prisoners, of course, you just have, you need to have more human raids. It might be, I mean, it's super risky, but it might be worth getting a burn tunnel set up like here that our, uh, our thralls run to get more prisoners for giving to the Empire, but I don't know. Seems like there's a lot that could go wrong. Oh man, the Empire. The Empire are going to hate us over time. I'm going to have to keep giving them things. Ugh, all right. Let's get our kin fuel generation finally. We're going to be enemies of the Empire soon, yeah. That'll suck. I got to gotta fix that. Albino Albear, thank you for the six months. It's too busy. Oh, yeah. No worries. No worries. The stream should be here when you're able to be here. But if not, yeah. Either way, thank you for the resub. Well, we can just give some stuff to them now. Still want to neutralize the pigs, though. Oh, right. It has to be me. Uh, let's see what tinning quality we can get on this. God, look at my hair. Back to sleep. I don't think we're hanging out while you could. Be listening though. Stay warm. It's funny, we did have a little bit of snow today after it being 60. Just like a dusting, so. Not, uh, not really much of anything, but. 
Drop on them anything but toxic waste and they'll be happy. Yes. Yeah. Fluffy Chi, thank you for the double digits. 10 months. Thank you, Fluffy. The enemies of the Empire late game because they never have rockets. Yeah, but we're we're doing the royalty ending, so I can't can't let that happen. Uh look at the gems. Yeah, alright. Well, we'll just gift you some stuff. We really don't have a lot to gift either. We have quite a bit of gold for when the um, other, other group comes in. Other Empire group. Plus 60. All right. All right. That'll keep us a little safer from getting negative with them. And then we need to... Oh my god, the natural will of the pigs is minus 230. Everyone hates us. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Come around, you had someone unlock Nero Quake. And someone with it he has to prevent caravan loss. Uh oh, if they use yeah, if you use the Neuro Quake while they're out, they will go into a coma. You're gonna have to have someone bring them home, yeah. I know it's cast at negative 100, which is crazy. Well, I was going to open that up, but... Oh, donkeys. Oh, donkeys. That's, that's so weird. Donkeys would be great. Uh, that's muscle parasites. My natural enemies, it's because our our ideology. Everyone hates you if you have supremacist, and then there's some other disagreeing ones as well. Oh, nice, we got one. It'll tell you, though. Like, for the pigs, for instance, we are supremacist minus 50. We are raider ideology minus 50. Natural enemy, they're always going to have that minus 130. For the empire, it's supremacist. They're loyalists. We're raiders. So if we didn't have Supremacy or Raider, they'd only have a negative 10 natural goodwill. But... Yeah. yeah, go ahead and eat. And Jade. Come on, Plasteel. Where is this Plasteel scanning? Not a true statement, if relatively speaking, the faction with the least negative score means they like you, yeah. <laughs> negative 10 isn't hard to overcome. Ah, we'll go neutralize the pigs again. We're just gonna have to give them things every now and then. Right now, we'll micromanage EQ, getting some more of these animals, and then we'll send off people to drop off. <sighs> Mass animal insanity. No prisoners for you. Those vegetarian meals, the buffalo. Yeah, yeah. We're just feeding the meals. Uh, feeding animals like that, big animals meals, is actually pretty efficient overall, surprisingly. Hey, there's a squirrel hiding in there. All right, back to the donkeys. Wait, what was that? Last deal, yeah, I thought I saw that. Oh, pretty freaking far away. Pretty far away. 
actually went through a lot of our rice recently too. Who else is unused in most of your playthroughs? Either don't care or throwing money. Yeah, yeah. Ever tried to just play around the natural tendency? No, it's kind of just a nice thing to have. You're already going to be friends with them because you don't have to, you don't get as much of a negative hit. So you don't have to give them as, as much to keep them loyal, but yeah. Generally, I'm the same way. Yeah, either we're at war or I'm gifting you stuff to have enough goodwill to call you in for tanking doomsdays, you know. You ain't really no in-between for me either. It's probably enough to carry those if I just go by myself. Let's check. Nine people, toxic potatoes, 14 in wood, 17 in wood. Those are getting pretty beefy. So the real question is, have we finally caught up to where we were, where, uh, where we were before the fire? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll check after this just out of curiosity. Sure, we'll get rid of a bunch of this junk. The MPs though, go to the fire, frag grenades. A lot of normal symbol helmets. Oh, it's with the ones we replaced uh, with marine helmets, I think. Uh oh, the episode is over. See you guys next time. See you next time on Adam Ball Z. All right, wait seven days. Let's go. over to the fine. Which DLC would you recommend to buy? So if you have no DLC at all, the biggest and best, the one that has the most stuff is Biotech. From a min-max standpoint, I usually like Ideology better. But yeah, you're going to get more bang for your buck with Biotech. There's a lot to Biotech. It feels more like two or three DLCs just because their, their team was bigger and everything, you know. But you can't go wrong with either that or Ideology is the first one. Royalty the team was much smaller, so Royalty absolutely feels like it has less. There's some strong things with, with Royalty as well. I would say, yeah, Reverse Order is probably the way to go, honestly. Biotech, then Ideology, and then Royalty, if you're just doing one at a time. When I do play Vanilla, I generally miss Ideology the most, but that's because I do a lot of themed runs, and I really like the, the events, the joint events. But with biotech, you get children, you get sanguifage, you get mechanators or friendly mechs, you get genes, which are a super min max thing as well. You get extra types of enemies to fight against. Um, the babies and raising babies can both be a very strong min max thing and a very like story generator thing. But royalty has axes and hammers, essentials for any dwarf run. But yeah, it, it does depend on what you like better about the game, but. Biotech has a pretty big mixture of both min-max and and story-based stuff, so I think I think you can't really go wrong. How many mortars are sprinkled around the map, actually? We've had a lot of sieges this run. And double-click it. <laughs> There's n at least nine mortars out on the map. This usually makes you think you want to close the tab. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you mad, Doe? Are well, they dead now, Doe? They're dead now, Doe. 
All right, hopefully this is enough to neutralize the pigs for a while so we don't have to worry about explosive pig raids. I also want to shop for jeans. Can't wait till Genie Boy's 13. Sounds so weird, but it's like I've been waiting forever for that kid to be 13. It doesn't get any better saying it that way. Doesn't get any better. We Plasteel. That's kind of our... problem right now I think we've only scanned one thing of plasteel that's yeah that's a lot of plasteel to be fair oh man I might make a tunnel over there to do that that's a lot of plasteel that could it's like all the plastic we would need for a long time we got gold out there for more advanced components oh I hate open up another path like this though Mountain covers all roof space. I don't know what you mean. This mountain is all overhead mountain because it's a modded type of mountain. It's a lone mountain. So yeah, there's no, if that's what you mean, there's no thin rock roof in the mountain. Is this a vampire groomer run? Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of that. It is kind of that. E6 only. Eh. Probably gonna have to make another trip. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Oh, man. Uh. <gasps> oh, God. More animal events. Uh, what a wasted popper. A wasted popper. Timbo, no, no, don't do that. All right, Grey Bush, let's go get you another infection. You like infections? You've been collecting them all game. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so let's see what genes they do have. If we want to come back and trade. Awful cooking. Fur skin. Awful cooking is kind of interesting because, again, that will be a negative on how much food they consume. Mm. We've had several lone mountains with thin roof. Really? The same mod? Might be uh, options, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't changed any of those kind of options, right? We, um, we used dev mode to scout out a bunch of them, and none of them ever had... None of them ever had Thin Rock Roof uh, anywhere in the mountain. Was yours over like an ancient danger, maybe? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just, you're probably right about it being a setting thing. The child care stat do. Should only pods with high child care have children? It's a social stat. Social is pretty stacked. But in practice, no, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter as long as you have three benches. Uh, or excuse me. Three blackboards attached to a desk and they are able to do their other stuff it doesn't really matter do I want to pick up awful cooking Meta metabolic efficiency plus two which is really nice probably a wooden complexity I think I might just grab it and then we don't care about the fur skinned one for this We'll grab that, bring it back home. They just ran in the center. Yeah, really, really weird. I kind of like to have that, actually, because then we can move our scanners and stuff. But so far, we haven't seen that. 
Yeah, a little thin rock roof can be good. It's got beef master. Welcome in. There's no thin rock roof in my hydroponic room, no. Rats in Emeralds. Battle Rats. Yeah, they used to be even better. We were talking about earlier about using things like that to uh, deal with rockets. <laughs> Sending small animals to go get hit by rockets. ventilation well, yeah I, I like having them for recreation and scanning as well waste rats can be pretty good too they do toxic damage like cobras infection hopefully preach health is enough i don't want to have to put them in the actual hospital bed keep an eye on it they're they aren't carnivores either Oh, not carnivores, yeah, like the, uh, unlike the cobras, I gotcha. Alright, so no more pig attacks. We're coming home with some genes. I guess we'll get this to be the gene room. Just want to make it super complex. I don't think I'm going to make it that complex, but... It was a noisy, yeah. Uh, they bark. The barking cobra. Yeah, we're finally building up blood. So, which is the next kid that's going to be an adult? Adult cave boy is going to be 13 soon. Cave boy and genie boy. Nice. Sonic Goods ship. We're not going to have a lot to trade with them. Yeah, ba basically nothing, so. Oh, I should have grabbed another telescope. Oh, cataphract armor. Oh my god, they have both tech prints for cataphracts. But yeah, there's no way we can afford that. Jeez. Rat Lord Solutions. Better than like lubricants. Everything is lubricants with those spaceships sometimes. Yeah, that would have been really nice. Yeah, I mean. Uh we are still lower wealth than the fire. After that last trade, we are lower wealth than the fire still. <laughs> uh dealing with mechanoids. I haven't had a lot of mechs either. A cold snap for someone named Chili? <laughs> no. TVs for the blood bags? What? No. What a waste. All right. Just there, okay. <sighs> Why do you keep getting hunted out here? Lucky Jimbo is nearby. So, 
we want to put wall around this. Yeah, that's actually fine as is right now. Okay. How do we do it on steel? We gotta be pretty good. Yeah, we just need plasteel. Predominantly. So we'll get that made. Plasteel line, and then we can actually start getting all this stuff made. We've been, been waiting on. And we have quite a bit of gold, so whenever the Tribute Collector comes, we should be able to go up in ranks. I don't know about getting everyone to count and count us, but I think I'm going to at least try to get two to four. I see a meteor on the north side. Oh, yeah. I thought we mined the whole thing. <laughs> no, we only mined, like, three parts of it. Yeah, so we're going to have, like, infinite plastic. Well, not infinite. But we're going to have a lot. This is uh, safer anyway, but, yeah. We'll have to do that once this is out. For some reason, I thought we had done the whole thing, but, no, we only did enough to get the multi-analyzer. Right. It's been a long time since we did that, but it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. My wife's having me try a drink. All right, get those moved. And let's clear the work area from out here. Okay. Just scan some really close by Plasteel. I wouldn't complain. going green ghost welcome back in is there a this one is uh is silver yeah i remember the silver one down there still something we might want to grab sometime but it's not uh he's not the plasteel we need right now we need a lot of tradables so i think we should probably expand our ge not geothermal our hydroponic setup too Yeah, it's another thing to work on. Let's we have a lot to work on. Let's get the plasteel going. Zamana, you're a miner. I didn't remember that at all for some reason. Scan gold. We're calling us the death rest. Yeah. All right, we'll get that done. I should be fine. Me and Zamana. What's that stone cutter? I think that's also silver. Yeah, it's silver. It's just darker in there. Whoops. Where's the slaves to share beds, our mood? Yeah, I've already done it. Yep. Never seen the morbid needle sheets before. Human leather needle sheets. All right, Plasteel coming in. This is the helmet's done, finally. Plastone cutter is silver. Yeah, silver. Do, do, do. There's a squirrel in there. Actually, we don't need these in here either. We're just on the drug labs there. Ah, we'll keep it there. It's fine. Hmm. 
Let's move these somewhere else temporarily. Gets destroyed by bugs, then whatever. We'll just rebuild it. Uh, thrombo horns. Yeah. Yeah, we got more lay in there, too. Actually, some thrombo earlier I probably should have killed, but... Ended up not doing it. Well, K-Boy sure does like running out there through the strip mining. It's all right. It's all right, K-Boy. You grow up nice and strong. You are a tough jogger. But... And I think we are going to turn him into a vampire as soon as he hits 13. How to feed pace to the blood bags? Why waste good slave time? It would be nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's power to the speakers. I thought you were talking about the, uh, the ideogram, the basically the altar. Asking about DLC, but does Lydian give us an announcement, or do they just surprise drop? So the last one we got a few weeks. So I think it was basically they announced biotech and we had it in about three to four weeks. Ideology, they announced it and we had it in like just two weeks. Royalty was literally like next day. That was the surprise one. So they do announce it a few weeks ahead of time. Uh, in the past, that's what they've done, I should say. Sometime a feeding tube installed <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> would be nice. Would be nice. Okay, for those, I guess I'll put one out here. The batteries be in there. <clears throat> I probably should go ahead and start smoothing everything, too. We have other more important things to do, but I should probably start smoothing all the walls around the conduit in a safer place. But... Then the theme, the theme... It'll be fine. Hmm. These are another one of those things that actually count as walls, surprisingly. Oh no, we're doing the rice dance again. Hmm. That is weird. Free fire the continents were like a long fuse. Yeah, I should fix it. Even though we were doing it because it looked it looked kind of cool, right? But probably. Probably fix it. All right, let's uh, let's make this. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They're it's like they're bringing them raw rice to feed them, and then they come in to do the surgery to take blood from them, and they drop the rice, and they need to move the rice so they have room. I guess the fix would just be to move all the beds down one more spot so there's spot for rice. Edit series of this one? Yeah, yeah, they'll be edited for this. The editor started on it yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna get that pollution up. Get out of the way, drug free slave. I didn't even give you a new name, huh? Oh, we found some steel there, too. All right, might as well grab that while we're in here. 
Compromises would be needed for those. If we do the entire run, I think it takes only three or four. We haven't seen any boss mechs. We haven't seen many mechs. It's been mainly friggin' animals. It's really odd. I'd actually rather have mechs or humans. Mechs would give us some more steel and plast steel and components. And then obviously we need humans for blood bags and prisoners and or empire honor. But we've just been getting a lot, a lot of uh, animal type events. Well, I'm not going to be able to move these. Well, that's not exactly true. I'm thinking this will fix it. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to displace you guys for just a minute. So hopefully that will do it. All right, now we'll see if that happens again, but I think it probably won't. Imagine that's what was happening. Just dump everyone on the floor, yeah. <laughs> None of them have legs, so. But will there be a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray release? Behind the scenes, the director's commentary of this run? Uh, yes, for the low, low price of 499.99. But I need at least 20 pre-orders. Oh. Yeah, I think it takes three, either three or four. Hopefully we'll get the whole setup at some point, but. Okay, we finished off the helmets, right? Yeah, so what do we need to replace? I know we need an arm. So let's get working on that arm. So make bionic. Bionic arm. There we go. Move that up. Okay. Keep working on this up here. Crowdfunding kind of deal. <laughs> Sounds doable. <laughs> up, Jimmy. Up, Jimmy. What if the slaves are unhappy enough now to put playing with the string dark light everywhere? I mean, it's almost everywhere. Just... I'm to try the full atomizer setup on your current run, but fighting through Apocrons, really not looking forward to. Yeah. The nice thing about the Apocrons is if you do kill them first, the stun is super long. Like, a lot of times you can just gun down the rest of the raid. But, of course, that means actually being able to target the Apocriton first. Uh, whoops. Turn these back to prison. Where's the... Empire... I'm um, holding another concert. Uh... Well, hang on, hang on. How are we doing on golds? Oh, yeah, I would give them a bit of golds. We need more honor. We need more honor. What are... How much honor are we at? We're at 20. We need 65. Oof. Tesserons, yeah, Tesserons are really annoying. It'd be pretty rough in this, in this, uh, without the shotgun tunnel in general, I think. If I'm for a single phase run, especially, yeah. 
Bionic arm. All right, other girl. You get an arm. Stall. Bionic arm. Right arm. No, not start death rest. I will do the surgery. Perfect. Okay, what else do we need? I guess I'll just start working on legs for them. All right, make bionic. Don't want legs first. Yeah, legs are always good. Make bionic leg, do it until we have X. X is two. Drop it on the ground, look nearby. Copy that over to this one, move that up to the top. Turn that back on. Hit the fire damage of the game, it's busted. Hand of the player, annoying in the hands of the enemy. Yeah, I don't know. I I know there's mods for it, but it's so crazy that how your pawns panic. And yes, I mean you're gonna panic if you're on fire, but it's it's kind of insane. I've had pawns that would have been completely safe, and I'm sure most of you had. If they had just gone any other direction, where they get lit on fire or something, their shirt is on fire and they run head first straight into like 20 centipedes. Stop, drop, and roll. Bionic eyes, any good? Bionic eyes are really good, especially for your shooters. So usually what I do in a normal run as far as bionic priority, if you're not like replacing things that just need replaced, is to get bionic arms on your crafters because it's one of the few things in the game that actually makes crafting faster. The bionic arm on your crafter so you can get your other bionics faster. And then I typically go with one leg and one eye on everyone first. One leg, one eye, and then I'll go from there. For doctors, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess eyes and arms would be good for them too. Pawns panic went on fire. Raiders keep walking and die. <laughs> What's going on with Zamana? Oh, right. Yeah, psychically hypersensitive Zamana. Must stay in formation. Minus, just a minus 60. Yeah, we can just death arrest him during this, right? Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. He doesn't need it yet, but better than him breaking down, yeah. Nap time. <laughs> time to go into coma. Time to go into coma. Slaves usually worth it. Slaves are not worth it from a min max standpoint. Without mods, slaves are not worth it from a min max standpoint for sure. They are 70% of raid points now, so that was a change that they made. But it's still not worth it. No. So only if you're doing like ideology themed runs or you just want them or whatever. But from like pure min max, no. Alright, second drone's ending, but we'll let him finish that off. It's fine. Make some room in here and some more hospital beds in case we have another one of those huge plague hit or something. How much suppression is needed? They're not. Yeah, it's it's basically they are seventy percent raid points, but you can never make it so that they will never have a uh, an uprising, a slave rebellion, whatever you want to call it. You can never make it without without mods, where they just will never do that. So there's always going to be that risk. And, like, if you have all the DLCs and you're wanting something for, like, your just laborers, you're better off getting a mechanic tour and getting those because you just don't have to worry about the same kind of stuff. The amazing assembly. All right. Fireboy. Fireboy is 10 years old. All right, Fireboy. 
jogger. So he is a colony raised kid. And boy, you did not hit any of the stuff that I really wanted. Uh, he wants to be a nudist like his dear old dad. <laughs> Pyro sounds right for him. Yeah, but he's going to be a vampire. Pyro. <laughs> I think he's going to be a nudist like his dad. Yeah, that works. That works. Runs the family. I'll keep him pretty freaking happy, too. Nudists are pretty pretty easy to keep happy. And hopefully he rolls tough as a third one. Uh, Construction plants. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Fireboy. And him getting pyro is funny, but you know, single phage coming up. We don't we don't want that. Alright. Fire boy. There you go, fire boy. Why not pick kind there? I don't want him to make any kind remarks to the slaves. Kind is good in a normal playthrough though. Pyro would be the vampire equivalent of Batman. The biggest reason was just his dad's also a nudist, but yeah, kind words to sleeves, it also kind of suck. Somewhat viable to offset by the fact they could just have them be normal pawns. Yeah, exactly. What does kind do again? So kinds will kind will never start a social fight. So they, they can be in them, but they won't start them. But they also will say a kind word to people and they'll give those people a, a mood buff. They also become friends with everyone very easily. Mono sword and killing all those animals one hit. Crazy. Yeah, kind is good in a normal playthrough for sure. Having those kind words being spread around the colony is is very strong. Hmm. All right, we'll keep you, keep you. One second. Okay. Zoe's trying to bite my new bonsai. Zoe. Yeah, that's true too. Like they don't care. So so it's really good for socializing that way too. They don't care if people are ugly or whatever. Zoe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. No reason to pick Pyro there if he's going to become a vampire. I'll just get grayed out anyway. Basically the same as not picking anything. <laughs> I spray, I sprayed towards the cat, yeah. But I didn't even do it, didn't even get wet. Cause it's on mist mode, see? <laughs> but yeah, she was biting the new bonsai tree, which is already not doing well. Show the cat the bottle. Yeah, she couldn't see the bottle because she was turned away from me. She was intent on biting the tree. Right, bionic leg. Do I get them to stop something? Yeah, absolutely. Worth it either, as it means you don't get better in buffs. Aesthetic in a normal run is also really good, but in this one with us, like, aesthetic royals are fantastic because they don't need any of the royal stuff. But in this one, we're going for the, like, fancy rich vampire royals, so in the long run, that's basically a RP decision as well for this run. But yeah, I like aesthetic and normal run. Especially as royals. Aesthetic royals are really nice to have. Mm. Alright, so working on the bionics. Waiting on Genie Boy to grow up a little bit. This is event. God, we have so many batteries. It blew three 
walls open. That's not good. Yeah, I need to get off of these batteries. Even though we're using sun lamps, I need to... At this point, we're not... We have so much power coming in, we just don't need batteries. Uh, dug too deep. Okay. Ooh, there could be friendly fire. Yeah, let's not have you shoot. Jasper. Coagulate you. And I'll get this one. Can't to your cat, snap fingers, and say no. She's just the top of her head on the floor. So you're upside down. I can't see her. <laughs> good battle, good battle. Himself food poisoning right for a raid, though. Love the daycare series. <laughs> Forcing slaves to sleep in the freezer and wear wrong gender royalty clothing. They're wearing tainted clothing, but I haven't had them wear the wrong gender royal clothing, no. Um, I am going to make this room... We were talking about that before, too. I'm going to make this room either too cold or too hot at some point. But right now, they get plenty of debuffs while they're sleeping in this awful room. Mainly when they're up or doing things, they sometimes get that. But no, once, once, we, these, once these children grow up, we don't need... These guys are anything other than mood anymore. We have some plans for them for sure. Some permanent unhappiness. <sighs> well, we've had more raids today, but still predominantly Bugs and animals. Time for the Elden Ring DLC? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Watch the trailer? Yeah, yeah, I watched it the morning that it came out. I liked Elden Ring overall. We had a conversation about Elden Ring the other day on the stream, and I always have to be careful and, and preface it with some things because overall, I still enjoyed Elden Ring, but I was... There was a couple of things I was disappointed in in general and part of it was nothing to do with the game part of it was just health stuff at the time but yeah bugs really want us this time yeah we've had so many bug events I think this is the mountain base I've had the most infestations in but yeah I'm looking forward to it overall and apparently the developers have said that there's going to be several optional bosses that are going to be as hard or more difficult than Melania so I'm looking forward to that I've thought about two doing a I, I feel like I need to get a new save file ready because I only have two save files uh, that I have on Elden Ring. I have the first blind playthrough, which is already at New Game Plus because I finished everything to New Game Plus. I have the second play file, which is level one only where we went through the the game as level one. And so I'm thinking I might make a third save file that's just like to get some of the rust off of that kind of game and to get it set up to be ready to go into DLC stuff. How's the run going? The run's going okay. Is it fun? There's been fun moments, yeah. <laughs> fun moments. Turns up to Moog fight. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, yeah. Looks like Mikola's cocoon is going to be the entrance point to the DLC, probably. So, I'll probably do that. I'm thinking about it. Um, I've considered streaming it too. It probably wouldn't be good on the main channel because it'll hurt CCV. But I've thought about dusting off the one of the extra Twitch channels that I have and just doing that here and there because we have until June. Ten bosses, new power scaling. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it overall. What storage mod are you use? I don't use any yet. Yeah, so shells were changed to 1.4. So shells are changed to 1.4 to hold 
three items per per tile and uh, it also added single tile shelves so extra search channel i yeah i have a couple that i've streamed on before to do things like that but i'm thinking of changing the name on it so i'm not gonna i'll, I'll let you know for sure though if if i end up doing that specifically i'll let you know the I'll let everyone know, but, you know, there's some people that I, I know specifically would like to see stuff like that, so I'll try to reach out. Exotic goods from the pigs. Oh, man, pigs, we just... We just got friendly with you again. Streaming it would also hurt. It will, yeah. There's some things that I like so much that I will do day one things of because I don't want spoiled even though it's bad for the stream that's like God of War Ragnarok I streamed nothing but God of War Rag Ragnarok when it came out until I was done with it pigs versus bears Ragnarok was great, and the one before it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, I really like those. As a as a duology, as a duo, uh, that series is one of my modern favorites. Really like it. Uh... Go frenzy. Okay, we got two legs done. Let's start out with me. Bonic leg left, bonic leg right. Masterwork. Oh my god. Masterwork bed. I'm so used to the top one being rest until healed. I keep accidentally sl selecting death rest. I just heard about the pigs and the mechanics were run. <laughs> played Baldur's Gate 3 yet? No, I haven't. Or Divinity? No, I haven't played either of those yet. They're on the endless to-do list, though. A few humans you get are pigs, yeah. Oh, right. Um, Zaman is new, so I don't have them on. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Shape of Darkness Desired. Oh, I forgot about that. We finally, ha <laughs> we finally have enough wealth where they're going to need these things. I'm the best artist at a two. Oh God. All right. Yeah, I gotta remember to set that on Zamana next time. I wish you could set it without them being in death rest. All right, my legs have been replaced. Excellent. What age can the children do art? Good question. Is it 13 with them? Uh, it must be 10. Must be 10. A bit more from it. Still 50 to 200 hours. Search for every little corner of dialogue. Yeah, so Pineapple, very long time regular of the channel, has been trying to persuade me to play... Divinity on stream for a couple of years. But it's, uh, it wouldn't be good for me to do. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The Shape of Darkness. I'll do it. Don't worry. I got this. We might have to try it a couple times. All right. We have a child with art almost ready. Uh, we got Genie Boy, but Genie Boy is going to be on crafting. They're 12. K Boy is also 12 and does have passion in art. So maybe Genie Boy, but. Hey, my, my child has grown. All right. All right, prodigy. 
Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that sucks. Wow. Wow, that sucks. Uh, alright. Well, I guess you'll grab Neurotic, but... That does suck. Uh, come on, kid. You get... You got top tier here? And you got all crap? Alright, Neurotic it is. Banish my child. <laughs> Real shuttle crash. Hmm. Present bears here. Nine honor. Basically rolled five bad traits. Yeah, four, four bad when kind of middle of the road. Split stream games hurt the stream as much. No, because a lot of people will stay on lurk for them, so it doesn't hurt as much than doing like the full streams. It's crazy a lot of things like that though. Like even earlier today when Twitch my Twitch stream went down for like three minutes. We have just now, like around now, recovered from that. Had that not happened, we would our, our average CCB for today would be like hundreds higher. I had the developers reach out to me about that Bellatro, whatever Bellatro game, the card game before it came out. But uh I haven't I haven't gotten back to them again. So I might try it. Sickly might have been okay. Yeah, that's true. Because when he gets to a vampire, he's not going to catch most stuff anyway. So Sickly might have been okay. Insanely fun. I've heard good things about it, but I just haven't had a lot of time to super look into it. Five hours. Are the bears going to be gone in time? Yeah, we can do it, I think. All right, let's try it. So we'll try to help them. If it's something really bad, we're just going back inside, though. Right, if I see any explosives, heading home. Yeah, sickly might have been okay to get there. A normal run, I, I definitely don't think so. But if he is destined to be a vampire, then sickly would have been all right. We've got twelve hours on it since launch. Could you make him a pseudo vampire by gene modding him, Genie Boy? I think Genie Boy is going to end up being a slave. Yeah, I think he's going to end up being a slave because of that. Yeah, because the turning into an actual vampire would overwrite. It'd be really hard to get a gene pack set up for him with all the vampire stuff. And yeah. The day one playtime behind everyone was 40 years for the first day of that. Yeah, they sent me a key for the game. And then I asked them, I was like, are you guys also doing your promotion stuff for it? So I might be interested in that. And then they were like, no, we're not really doing much of that this time. And then they had, they asked me something. Oh, it's all melee. Okay. And I just haven't had time to get back to them. Nah, it's too late to shoot that. That would have been pretty cool, though. We're getting the end of it all, right? Neanderthals, man. And I accidentally had one of those guys not drafted, so. What? 
You guys are having... Oh, no, no, no. This is bullcrap. <laughs> We're going to fail it because of that. Wimp or something? Oh, God. I'm glad I can't delete people anymore. Uh, if we get royalty, those shuttles would delete anything they landed on. We had one land on a stockpile of uranium right after royalty came out, and it was just gone. Just deleted all of it. What? <sighs> get up! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I didn't see the carry. I was looking for it. I just must must have just looked right over it. No one of the main platform lights. Yeah. Research and pick drum roll. What game do you think you'd pick if you just started now? I would have to go do the research. So there's a lot of things to think about. Some of the ones I talked about before. Uh, throne room. Okay. Uh, something I've talked about before, but I would have to I would have to go search again. Finding things that have a lot of total viewers, but that the viewership is split over lots of of streams all can also be good, but it, it depends on the size of your stream at that time as well. Like Rimworld's actually really good for that. I will sometimes see Rimworld have four thousand people watching, and you go in and the top stream is like a hundred and forty people, which is a lot, but like. There's 140, 120, 80, and like tons of streams where it's like 30 to 60 people. So it's kind of a great category still because of all, because of that, right? So if you can get up into the first one or two above the fold places, right? Like maybe the in the top 10 at some point, if you can, if you can manage to get there, you're actually going to get new eyes on your stream quite a bit more than you would on, say, a more popular Twitch game. But yeah, I'd have to go look. I'd have to go do the research like I did back in the day for that. I work in do you can a blind pawn do well? Um uh cleaning. Oh god, sorry, versus baby. Cleaning and hauling. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Blind is pretty awful, unfortunately. Pretty awful. Good reason, but. I'll say that. In Rim Worlds. <laughs> in Rim Worlds. Blind pawns in Rim World are not very. In the middle of doing a blind sight run. Yeah. Yeah, I did a blind sight run and they it was all the the slow production and the botches and like, if, if you have them do stuff that blindness only slows them rather than increases, like, something they can botch at, then I guess that would be the way to do it. But, man, in general, it's just rough. Blind can be fixed in RimWorld. How do you... Oh, it ah, doesn't matter. Refer to people with pawns in real life. Every day. Oh my god, Greybush, again. Again with you. Wake up so I can preach to you. Pruning a Gwarlin tree, for instance, yeah. Mudwife pawn and daughter pawn. 
They're just pieces in my chess game. Wake up, Greybush. Oh my god, Milla, it's you. You're still baby sharking. The entire world has stopped, but not Milla. Go on, Milla. Almost asked you again if you had your internet set up yet. Your good internet. Even though I, you already have answered that so many times. Yes, yes, for God's sake. All right, let's put that in the... Let's put it in this room. Now nah, we'll put it in here. It's fine. Always baby sharking. The shape of darkness. Hey, EQ fan. Deliver the sculpture. Wow. How beautiful. Excellent. Genie boy, let's go. Have a birthday already. What are you waiting on? Hmm. What are you waiting on, Genie Boy? like fast healing does not make a difference for the blood bags unfortunately sad oh there's a plastic at first is about to be just slightly annoyed you know there's some plastic oh it's not too far away Yeah, I'm just getting rid of the batteries. And if we need more, uh, more power, we'll just we'll just keep making more. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, I mean, Randy is just giving you constant ambrosia. <laughs> Almost a thousand ambrosia. <laughs> Sounds like the Rimmin ship run I did where everyone was addicted. So we just, every raid came with just hundreds of Ambrosia. <laughs> I wonder what the next great tragedy of this colony will be because there's been a lot of great falls in this colony but we are finally finally above where where the great fire happened that was two almost three years ago what vampire buildings do we have uh we only have the uh accelerator so far did you consider a MOBA FPS type game as they seem to have generally larger viewerships? Um, I did actually a little bit, but one of the problems with most of those that are, uh, they're, they're pretty oversaturated, especially for new streamers and for lower viewer count streamers. Also, a lot of those are yellow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't mean it in like a conceited way, but I'm also pretty sure that I can, I've been like that my whole life where I think I'm pretty sure that if I'm not good at something, I can get good at something. I can practice my way into being good at something. So whatever game I ended up going with, I like I had the list when I was trying to figure out what to do. I was pretty sure I could just get good at any of them if I wasn't already. So I wasn't too worried about trying to find something I already knew or I was already good at. It was more of what's something that I would enjoy enough to where I would be okay streaming this for 10,000 hours. And then all the other stuff that we've talked about, of course, like as far as how to find the game. Let's go ahead and Finn. 
Corpse obsession. You got happy enough to have a corpse obsession? Children! Children! Beat him! Don't let him get catharsis, children. He's gonna dig up that dead child from forever ago. Jesper! The children are coming for you. <laughs> oh, it's not the child. Yeah. And that's someone else come get it. I don't want them. All right, I'll, I'll do it. What did you get happy about, Jesper? What could possibly be going on in your life that you actually are happy about anything? It's kind of crazy to tell your pawns that, but what were you happy about? You ate cooked insect meats. Uh, all right. No more insect meat in there. No more insect jelly. Yeah. How dare you eat something cooked? And also that you like. It's rival died. Yeah, those ones I can't really do much about, unfortunately. I ran away from a lightning strike. Ah, that's fair. Pretty fair, actually. Dusty more than a happy pond. <laughs> yep, yep. In this run, anyway. So we're... Well, a lot of us just literally sitting here waiting for children to grow up. A little bit. A little bit. Ah, we're getting some other stuff done. I need to get this flooring in here, switch over to fine flooring. Uh, we got so many blocks out here. A lot of it's just slate. Just... It's fine. But crafting is a four. And an infection. Hmm. What'd you miss? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where you, where you left off. <laughs> Your left big toe. We can get you through that really quickly. We'll just cut it off. There you go. There you go. Watch him get an infection <laughs> on the foot. <laughs> Makes having slaves really... Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it definitely changes it. You definitely have to think about it more. Secret Vampire Mountain. Certain logbook. All the people who visited. Uh, no. No. No, we raise children here to be warriors. Or slaves, depending how good the child is. Nothing else. Nothing else. Where's the tribute collector? Are people this lonely? Almost 400 watching. Why does someone... You're watching as well. Why does someone have to be lonely? I have... 750 on Twitch. 400 on YouTube. What does that mean that people are lonely? It's a very odd thing to say. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched... I mean, some people watch streams because they're lonely, to be fair. But I think that's probably a minority. I've never watched a stream because I was lonely. That's the one that said that on YouTube. Yes, yeah, it was. Miss you, are you lonely? Let me know. So what if you're watching? Because you just literally mentioned people watching being lonely. So are, are you lonely? What's with your mom? I locked in here with you. Uh, let's see. 
Make stone blocks, do forever, drop on the floor. We're gonna bring it these for the for the fancy flooring for the uh, the throne room. Watch this and play, Serena. You know, yeah. Maybe you just tuned in. Why are you looking for a stream to watch? Were you lonely? Yeah, I think a lot of people, a huge amount of people, myself included, when they're playing something or maybe even doing work on one monitor, they have a stream on another monitor. That's that's the way that I mostly watch streams is I will have, I'll be doing something on one monitor and then I have a stream on the other. And then if something exciting happens or something like that, or something I'm super interested in, like maybe a raid happens, I will then watch it for that a little bit and then I'll turn back. Some people watch intently, which is also fine, but I think that's the, the most... Yeah, like everyone's saying what they're playing on their other monitors at the moment. Lonely is not insults. I didn't say you insulted anyone. I just said that it was kind of a weird thing to say that everyone watching must be watching because they're lonely. Playing Last Epoch. 100% this, yeah. Playing Room Worlds. Yeah, almost everyone's playing something else. Yeah, and like I said, are, that's fine. Are you lonely? You were probing to see how defensive people are getting? I'm not getting defensive. <laughs> uh, okay. If you're going to streams looking to try to make people defensive, that's kind of a trolley thing to do for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm, some people do come to streams and talk because they're lonely. There's a, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a weird thing to come in and see like, wow, it's 400 people here. That's a lot of lonely people. You are lonely. Well, I'm sorry to hear. Sorry to hear. And Jade. Uh, I need death rest. Okay. Go and do that. I wish... I bet there's a mod to set automatic death rest. Automatic death rest could be a problem, though. Everyone's lonely once in a while. Yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, that's human for sure. And yeah, some people don't have any other outlet for sure, but I don't think everyone watching a stream is lonely. YouTube chats get wild. Yeah. So yeah, sorry if you are feeling lonely. And yeah, streams can be an okay... Like, as long as you don't let parasocial stuff, like, take you away from trying to get maybe whatever the root of that is, right? It's completely fine to be at streams to, because your house is too quiet, because you're not feeling well, or because you're lonely or whatever. But sometimes it can be, I mean, I'm, I'm here just as a streamer. I'm not here to be like anyone's psychiatrist or anything, but, you know, I'm sure you know what I mean. I lonely have Twitch chat. Yeah. Here to learn some RimWorld. RimWorld. The NASA way. Sending probes to Uranus. It's always funny to me that they're like, oh, we're going to stop calling it Uranus. You know what's extra annoying about Uranus? Uranus? They changed it to Uran. But anyway, it's the only planet that doesn't have like a god name to it, right? And there are plenty. There are plenty. There's also, there's been a petition, I don't know who you petitioned to, to change the name to one of these other god names that would make sense for it. Why? Why? Anyway. I was reading something about that recently. Only stream, still okay, yeah. Who says Uranus is not a god? <laughs> Twitch automated you for that. <laughs> Even God's scared of Uranus. Well, I meant the same theme as the other planets. <laughs> All these auto mods, I can see them. <laughs> That's the name of the planet because when everyone as a child remembered it, it's true. It's the same thing. Yeah. There is a petition out there to change it to be the same exact theme, but I don't think it'll ever, ever happen. Jeff, the god of biscuits. Uh, Super Mario! Here are the six months. Thank you, Super Mario. 
Free gods. Nice to live. Is named after that stuff on the ground. Earth. Mother Gaia. The International Astronomical Union, the IAU. Should go back to the original name. I forgot about that. Yeah, King George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our anus. Thanks, Futurama. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that too. Is Kalis the one that they wanted? They wanted to change it to? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, come on, children. Where are these tribute collectors? Have I missed tribute collector at some point? It feels like forever since we had one. We had some Empire Traders, but I can't remember the last time we had an actual tribute collector. I wish you could go drop the stuff off for tribute at an Empire base. That would be nice, but... Doing all right? Watch the stream helps. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Germ. It's one of those, I mean, I guess it's a tough thing in life in general. I won't bring it up too much because I don't know if you want it brought up, but it's one of those tough things in general when you're losing people that you love that, have got, that are getting older and it generally starts happening around certain ages, right? Like at a certain age, on average, people start losing their grandparents at that age. And then at another age, they start losing their parents and those are, it's all terrible all around. But anyway, sorry, Germ. Uh, Hopefully the streams and stuff can distract at least, you know, a little bit. <laughs> All right, loners. <laughs> see you later. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, man. This is... This is Jimbo's first child. Tough. Jogger. Brawler. Steadfast. Masochist. Huh, which one do I want? Tough Jogger is incredible. I mean, if we're going with the vampire theme that we have been with the uh, almost melee gods, Brawler is great. Steadfast for no breakdowns is also great, but I think Mood is not going to be a problem this run. So I think I'll... I normally don't go with it, but I think I'm just going to go with Brawler. Man. Tough Jogger Brawler. Those Jimbo jeans, yeah. All right. And hmm, Pogcha. Hey, within two years span, been lonely for years. Twenty-eight. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, it is those rough time frames. God Pond. Yeah, and you don't really need the passions in it, honestly. So I feel like it'd be kind of a waste to give him another one. Uh, we could go ahead and get something like crafting because if we find like a crafting trader, crafting is always at a premium. Like we can make him just have tons of passions. That is a, not a bad option. Wait, was cave boy a girl the whole time? <laughs> uh, whoops. Thralls mind being naked. Uh, they don't, unfortunately. Our ideo ideology doesn't care about clothes. Cave boy was a girl all along. Oh, uh, whoops. It's fine. That's fine. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, I think this is actually fine. Then they'll be good at like all kinds of stuff. <laughs> all right. So we're actually ready for them and they can take up the. They don't have we need to get another room. I guess they can just have. Uh, anyway, we're ready to turn them. Jimbo, turn your daughter into a vampire. <laughs> Sorry about that, cave boy. I don't know wh how we did that. We did that. It's gonna get their name as Cave Girl. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're about to find out, I guess. They are a great pawn, though. All right, face to face. Don't want any melee god from behind business here. They were, uh, they were a tomboy. That's fine. Or something else, which is also fine. Not melee god style. Did you just assume that girl's gender? Um. 
I guess so, literally. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I literally did. Okay, we're gonna need another marine helmet. Let's see who this is. Oh boy. Who is it? Who is it? Their name is just Feel. It's Feel 03. I, that's the first time they've ever had a pawn. Congratulations. Congratulations. Look at that melee. Nice. Even Sky God makes mistakes. That is true. Maybe the B was silent. It's Kavoy. You're reading Muffin Girl as Muffing IRL? <laughs> What would that even mean? Um, I I have an idea, but ask your mother. Ask your mother what that would mean. God. Muffing in real life. <laughs> ask your mother. Ask your mother. Don't ask me. I, I don't even have an idea. I don't even know. Careful, careful, yeah. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Do everything other than construction. Yeah, they're really good. Really good. Wow, look at that. Passion in everything other than social, construction, or animals. The social's already high because of genes, so. Don't forget the animal queue. Yeah, I, I know. I should probably do a run where we're going to use some animals. I've been thinking that maybe we should redo the good guy run after this one as a palate cleanser. You know, it won't be as long of a run or anything like that, but maybe we should do another good guy's run all the way through as a palate cleanser from this horrific run. Genie boy! Genie boy. Oh my God, genie boy. Genie boy, you crazy. They're going to be a level 20 crafter, like, forever. But we're going to have to enslave him. And the Burning Passion is going to mean he's going to be happy in there, but... Yeah, it's unfortunate that the Xenogerm... Xenogenes from the Vampire will overwrite the Genie stuff. I've been selling enough Fire Foam Poppers. I think we have about 18. The God of Genies. Save everyone. You can have to launch everyone. Every animal in your colony. Yeah, we did, we did one like that, but it's been years. The god of genies. The god of genies. All right. Man, he would make a really good colonist, but we made a rule that colonists can only be vampires or the vampire's children. So. There's an alpha memes that adds a no violence precept. Good guys versus melee. Uh, all right, well. Which one is the best one to install a learning assistant? Hmm. I don't know. Um. I haven't. It's actually a question no one's asked. Let me look. Learning assistants. Hmm. What will learning factor plus 20%? Um, I guess like with most things, you would want it on people that you want to maintain a higher level where that the higher level actually contributes more than just speed to what they're doing. So if you add like, like learning speed or memory, either one on someone that's doing your crafting is great because the higher your crafting skill, the higher chance at better quality, right? You want to get those excellent or masterwork weapons or even legendary if you are uh, using production specialist. So that's what would first come to mind for me is using them on those kind of pawns, using them on your your people that are making quality stuff. 
You could also use it on someone that you need to get better at something that's not already good at it, and you just want to save time on them getting better at it, but I'm not sure. This crafter, even if his genie traits get overridden. Yeah, I, we can look at that too. Let's see. What would he lose if we made him not a genie? He would lose the burning passion. He would still have a passion. He might still be fine to become a vampire. He would also lose eight points in crafting, but as fast learner, great memory, it's going to be back there in no time. Manipulation. Huh. I'm not sure. Can you install the learning chip in a child? I'm not sure about that either. Can you use melee weapons and power claws in combination? You can, but it doesn't really do that. It alternates the it alternates what the strike is, so it doesn't really improve DPS. He hates plants. It's not good at him. Yeah, I'm not sure. I am tempted, but let's see. Let's look at gene regrowth here. We've got one. We're going to have three more vampire uh, implants soon. So those are these three kids, but this kid's going to take quite a while to get there. So we do have the gene. Come genius vampire. I mean, he would go down to level 8 in crafting, and the Burning Passion would go away. But Very Neurotic, Fast Learner, Great Memory will get there again in no pro no time at all. Time becomes a vampire, yeah. Yeah, so he's going to lose some stuff. Yeah, I haven't really thought about the Learning Assistant much either, yeah. So that's kind of an interesting thing to look at and kind of theorize. Kill, then we lose him. If he's enslaved, enslaved, life expectancy's not great. Yeah. How many vampires are am I aiming for? I think this is about it. I think these children, when they grow up, and possibly Genie Boy. Yeah, it's because they were knocked down. Let me grab those. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn him. I think he'll still be a great crafter for us. Even with not being a vampire. So. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's do that, I think. Genie boy. He's still uh, not adult size, right? So. Yeah, all right. Learning assistant on three-year-old sounds good. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Just wall him in so he can't die. Whoa. I think I'll I think I'll turn him. Alright, genie boy. Let's see, let's see what happens here. So whose genes are you gonna get? Muffin girl? Alright. Here we go. So yeah, they'll still be great, but they're not tough, but they'll still be great. This is it on a Neanderthal runs. They can still learn slower than a normal one. Yeah. yeah, you can't put multiple in there. And there, the Mechanitor has some things where you can get multiple of their uh, attachments, you know, like the repair probe and stuff like that or whatever. That would be kind of awesome if you could do some of the other brain implants like that. Morbid slates. Slowly but surely look at that over. What's overall best early mid melee weapon other than Thrombohorn? So mace and longsword generally. Especially out of things that you can make. Spears are surprisingly good. I think spears would be better. I wish they would give spears the ability to hit. Oh my god, a mech raid. What is it? All Scythers. 
I do wish they would give the... Oh god, there's three groups of them. Spears' ability to, like, reach over a tile. A lot of games do that, where Spears have one extra melee length. I think that would be really awesome. But Spears are okay. There's a lot of okay weapons in that, but... Yeah, really, you're trying to get either... Plasteel Longsword, Uranium Maces, Thrombo Horns are are good. They're they're usually something that you might can get early if you can, you know, bleed out a single Thrombo. Do you? I haven't. I don't think Elephant Tusks are super great. I don't remember what the damage is on them though, but I know it's not like a Thrombo Horn. Yeah, the, the medieval tier of weapons. In fact, even stuff like the Breach Axe can be good. Uh, the Warhammer with royalty can be pretty decent. Those can be kind of alternatives. They're not quite as good, but they're, they're decent. And also, uh, knives, specifically Plasteel Knives. We found out that Plasteel Knives have really fast attack, really good DPS, cause a lot of bleeds, and they're really good at stunning and stun locking people because or, uh, we, because of that, we use them in the cheese run as our main weapon. Like, almost everyone had plasteel knives in late game, which was... Of course, we were using uh, exploits in that run, so it's a little... A little different. Oh crap. <clears throat> well, at least they're coming one group at a time. Ah, uh, the other two combined. Doors on the left are open. I have no doors over here. Unless you're reading somewhere else, but I think we're good. We're good. On there, muffin girl. Yeah, the flash and eyes are actually pretty decent, but again, it was very specific why they were so good in that run. actual raid but it was mix they drop hey they drop components instead of plasteel nice shape disrespected we're working on it <laughs> we rip up a little bit of the flooring and put better flooring down immediately they're unhappy about it play weapons go breach axe yeah breach axe was another one we looked at that attacked quickly and did the same thing but we ended up going with Plasteel Knives overall just for the faster attack for the stun lock. Yeah, it was it was pretty surprising how decent the breach stuff was. Plasteel Breach Axe is fast, can stun, yeah. yeah. And what happens if I try to animal work hard at you? <laughs> Alright, cool. That works. He tries to get hunted by the wolf, and he's like, no, 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 no. I'm on your side. The wolf agrees. 
turns to fight empty pages enemies and then he just shoots them in the back. Overall favorite way to play the game? Um, themed runs like this are fun. I don't think I'd want to do a themed run every time. Oddly enough, I have quite a bit of fun with the ship thing, like the competitive thing. I'm not sure which one would be my favorite. But it's also fun to try to figure out how to do certain playthroughs, like not necessarily like themed like those vampire, but like challenge runs, try to figure out how to overcome things uh, like a modded storyteller without mods to overcome it. So things like Winston Waves was a lot of fun because it was a completely different game. It's like, how, all right, what do we do different to, to beat this? Same thing with the Zombieland mod and like Igor Invader. I do like playing mostly vanilla against modded storytellers. Those are always fun. Wolf agrees. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty nice, actually. Times um, catch live stream. Oh yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching the vods, all the things. Rim hammer, Warhammer fantasy mod. Uh, that's going to be disrespected for a long time, but oh well. Big room that we have to get done. Watching the trial and error on zombies is fun. Yeah, yeah. Things like that are pretty, pretty interesting. That's why I told people before, like, I might do some of those crazy... People ask about, like, the Void Storyteller, and the Void Storyteller is made to fight it with other mods. Like, it's, it's just oh, this overpowered thing, right? But I've I've been tempted to try it out even to see if we can uh we can overcome it with just base game plus DLC type stuff. So Alright, we'll get another one of these. Can I where is the tribute collector? No. Yeah, it's going to be an undignified uh, throne room either way, but that's true. We could move this temporarily. Feral child wanders in. Cheetah with a D. 12. Oh my god, I read that as protein at first. We have had a child in a recent run come in named Protein, to be fair. But anyway... <laughs> 12 year old? Wow, that's way too old. Way too old. We're not on 500% though. Way too old, that kid. Where are you, Empire? You cannot receive the Jedi training. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. All of it. Oh my god, 3,500. No, I'm not. Kidding. Just kidding. <sighs> More last deal. Uh, oh, it needs a place with columns and no beds as well, right? Um, this has four columns. No floor, though. Yeah, no matter what, it's going to be disrespect. Ah, they're happy enough with it. That's fine. We're just going to put it back in there. We'll get, we'll get the place done eventually. Orange chicken with rice or chicken strips and pasta for dinner. Hmm. Orange chicken sounds better to me. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you feel like. All right, I'm going to split the recording again with the editor. All right. Recording has begun. We're back. We never left, etc. Chicken strips. Is it Halloween? Colony is imploding from bad mood at the moment. Work frenzy. 
All right, so Genie Boy is up. They're a vampire, and now they need a real name. I need you to have a melee weapon, even if it's a log right now, just for the mood. All right, let's teach you a name, Genie Boy. I'm going to go with the Rainer. Rainer. All right. Uh, until we get a quest, you guys can sleep in here. Oh. They can't romance each other yet, unfortunately. Tough jogger, brawler, fastlaner, very neurotic. We'll put you in here. Wow, you're going to get the room where the Stellark will sleep someday. Hopefully. We gotta change the genes. That's what we said. Yeah. It's got rewritten, so. Because it's all Xeno genes. But still a really good pawn. It's still a really good crafter. So, still worth. Still worth. I really don't remember the last time we got a tribute collector. It was like ages. First, Randy, 5% Arcadex is calling you sell. What items would be good to take for the new location? One slot is taken by Lucerium, cause of unlucky brain scar. Just remember that weapons are included in that. Weapons do not count as equipment, so they are included in your items. So if you have any weapons you want to take with you, make sure those are selected as items. So that's mainly what I did for mine. You also uh, remember that the five pawns that you take, they're going to start with food and stuff as if you had started a new colony with them, like a brand new game. So you will have a little bit of food. You don't necessarily need to take up one of your slots with food. As long as you get things grown quickly or whatever, depending on the map you're going to. But yeah, I would say things like that that you must have, like Luciferium. And then for me, it was weapons. But... Just got a man in black first time. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? Crap. We didn't have gene pack things set up, so the gene pack I bought earlier is just gone. Uh, it was not a lot of money. Not, a, not one that we super needed, but it does kind of suck. Alright, speaking of, I guess we'll start making this into a gene room. Sure. Well, the raid's all too tall, it's dead. Honestly, that was a good time. <laughs> For the stories. Studio rich vampires. So we're at 1600. I'm going to get started on some more of it. EQ fan, you're playing my piano? What the crap? How friendly do you think YouTube streaming is to creators? So I think there's... Now that you can dual stream, I don't think there's any reason not to if, if you have the equipment to be able to. But there are some things that are better on YouTube than on Twitch and vice versa. So on YouTube, you can have higher bitrate, better quality. But one of the real benefits is that it is a massive platform with a algorithm that does feed new or like smaller channel content to people. It at least tries to, to see to test the waters for that content. And after your stream, it's already a VOD. So if you do your stream in a way that kind of works the long form video and not just a stream, that's already there and ready for you. And you can put in description, keywords, thumbnail, and the algorithm will feed that to people as if it were an uploaded video even after the stream. So that's really good. VOD type stuff on Twitch is just, it's never going to be improved, I don't think. I'll tell you a story about this, uh, an anecdote, I guess. But I had a meeting with Twitch a couple years ago. So I got an email and they're like, hey, we're reaching out to some partners to get some ideas. This was before channel points came out. So they were they were testing the water mainly with channel points and talking about it and like what what kind of things that we would think would be pretty awesome to have these channel points things, right? And they asked me if I had any questions. And so I had some questions written down to ask them that other creators had, had, had told me to ask as well and some for myself. And I asked about VOD things and 
I was on the call with two people, main person and then someone to the side taking notes. And when I asked about VODs, they they actually laughed like a little like a uh, scoff chuckle thing. And they they basically told me that VODs and the ability to find them and things like that on Twitch uh, will probably never be a priority. And their exact words, I'll never forget, was nobody watches VODs on Twitch. Nobody watches VODs on Twitch. And so that's one of the reasons why I started putting VODs on YouTube is because I had that meeting with them. And they literally told me uh, there was no reason for me to try to get my VODs viewed on Twitch. It was kind of crazy. They laughed when I was like, yeah, I know. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not true, right? Oh my god, Cheetah just killed a squirrel and ate its head. But yeah, there are uh, definitely benefits of both platforms. Like I said, YouTube is immensely larger than Twitch altogether. So the potential reach on YouTube is higher. Bonds on every single night to fall asleep to. Yeah, yeah, so that was... That was a really crazy thing. They're like, they're like, <laughs> no... No one watches VODs on Twitch, so we don't have any plans on changing any of that. And it's like, all right, well, that answers question to me. I'll start putting that stuff on YouTube. That was, yeah, that was a couple months before Channel Points came out on Twitch. All right, manager, so that's what that means. Oh, yeah, I, I can understand what it means, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's like... If they... They're not going to make it priority. They, they, yeah. I, I know what it means for that, that side, but it was just kind of crazy to me at that time when I heard it because I knew myself included or watched them, but it was something about, I'm trying to remember the specifics. Something about being able to like search for VOD content. And it, I understand Twitch is a streaming platform that definitely solidified it back then that it was like, all right, well, Streaming only for, for Twitch stuff. Yeah. Been watching the Mass Effect playthrough. That's awesome, yeah. The laughing is unprofessional. Yes, yeah. It was like it took the off guard asking. They like scoffed or chuckled at it. And that kind of took me back a little bit. We can fight this. Why even allow VODs? Yeah, I don't know. What's Twitch? Hmm. YouTube ads to add for streams. Yeah, and that's the other thing. On uh, YouTube, it's the other extreme. Like, it's crazy to me that YouTube, and I know, like, the YouTube gaming thing kind of had a little bit of this. But it's kind of crazy that you can't really go to, like, YouTube streaming site and browse through categories like you can on Twitch. Like, every streaming site ever has had that capability. Do we do this? And if the single phage lives, we accept them? Or is this a rival vampire? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, or we could use them to turn one of these so we don't have to wait. Yeah, if they're a good single phage, we could take them. And if they're not, we could force them to give their genes and die. <laughs> YouTube is probably the opposite. Nobody watched streams on YouTube, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, let's see what happens. Yeah. They're all getting out with breach axes with crap. Unwaveringly loyal. Yeah, okay. It feels like that shouldn't be possible with this quest either. Oh, you can capture them and make them a vampire of your colony. Uh, nope. No, I can't, actually. I can't do that, actually. Even a bad mood beacon. <laughs> YouTube is not as great. Yeah, chat's another one, the chat system on YouTube. They have their own proprietary chat system, so I can't even use... Like, I don't, 
Uh, the chat thing I use for, for Twitch isn't the base either. I use something called... Hey. I use something called Chatty. Which I prefer over the base. But I can't use that for, for YouTube chat. They have their own system and Twitch is just like IRC, right? Vampire blood bag, I don't think. Unwaveringly dead. Which is just, yeah, IRC, which is easy to get things uh things for. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Christ. Phase actually live lives, so we can do the forced implantation. Uh, who do I want to do that on? Well, that turret paying off, paying off. Are we loyal? Yeah, whatever. Using IRC public chat back when the internet was new. University as public server connected to a big network. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we take advantage of that. Grab his organs first, too. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's capture them. We'll grab those and then we'll force the implantation. The death rasp, I star them and store them for later use. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, we've done that quite a bit. Starve them. <laughs> hmm. Can you... It can't have to be a certain age for it. No, we can go ahead and put the germs in one of the kids. I'm not sure. Yeah, can we? No, their genes are regrowing, so it will kill them. Will kill them. All right, let's harvest right lung and right kidney. We might need those, right? I need those someday. Uh, we actually might want to get both. No, no, we want him to keep being asthmatic, right? Oh, they killed my tortoise. Hmm. Oh. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to kill the rabbit that was eating the meal. <laughs> Muffin girl just accidentally killed. It was her, not me. All right, we'll take the skull, though. I was trying to kill the rabbit that was eating our food, and she just she just turned and killed the kid. God, what if I accidentally clicked on one of our own people during that? Uh, All right, well. Killed a child. It was an accident. <laughs> uh, for real this time. 
real. Alright, well. Well, good trader, yeah. The pig's reset. I need to go up there and check for jeans. Not yet. Where are you, tribute collector? Tribute collector will probably show up while I'm gone trading, so I might not want to take myself. Down today, uh, probably tomorrow, because we lost we lost some people. Twitch went down for a little bit, so we'll probably do the bounty tomorrow instead. The dangers of no pause, yeah. Yeah. Harvest uh, left lung, harvest left kidney, harvest liver, harvest hearts. Okay, cool. What about these other guys? I kind of want them to stick around so we can give them to the Empire. Or show up. What time is stream ending? I don't know. What time do you think? What time do you want? I'm good with whichever, whatever needs done. Infection. The right arm, huh? There was an accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. She didn't mean to kill that wild child with a hammer. She didn't mean to. Never. Sky God summon? Alright. What does Sky God have to say about this tragic loss of child life? Should we allow dinner now? <laughs> see. Let's see what they say. Exclamation quote. I believe we actually killed him. <sighs> that was dinner. Yeah, uh, they've... Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's play Hentai or Wishlist! Now's not the time for tentacles. That does remind me to drink some of my anime girl thigh drink. Ah, what a life. What a life. Come on, Empire. Where are you? Uh, <laughs> I gotta go home, you're drunk. All right, did we get all the organs out of there? Did we move them into new containers? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I guess we just, like, these are all children of the colony. So for this one, we're gonna just... Let's go into food assignments. New food assignment. Literally nothing. Nothing. Alright. Okay, don't feed them. Still come, even if everything's polluted. Yeah, they should. It's actually not that... That tile isn't crazy polluted, right? It's only... 8%. It's light pollution, so they should... They should... Go up. What's the devil summon? You can't give me a second. That was like a... A minute. Unless you're talking about earlier ones or something. If you put it in too long... It'll get too hard. Thanks for the advice, Satan. I will keep that in mind. Alright. Group of traveler... Traveling pigs, yeah. What are you upset about? Entombed underground, yeah. Yeah. No recent conquest, yeah. 20 people.
Uh, I don't want to micromanage it. I'm cut this. I'll lose more this way, but I don't care. Don't you hate it when the game makes you play the game? I was talking about that with Total War just the other day, like multiple times. We were doing some auto-resolve battles, and there was a battle I didn't want to fight, but I had to fight it manually because it was going to give me too many casualties without me actually controlling everything. And I was complaining. I was like, don't you hate it when you have to play the game? The game makes you play the game. Oh, man, I have to play. All right, it's fine. You hate crop blight so much that you disable it. Inspire recruitment on other woman. God. Clips, clips during this run are uh, often not a not a great thing. Oh, they built. Did they build that in the wrong order? A lot of power coming out of that room. But we can put more. We can put more. There's an army, then manually fight it and lose 1%. That's right. That's right. See, there's someone that knows. <laughs> Heat wave. Okay. Hosting Royals. Three bedroom that satisfies title requirements. 16 days, three court allies. Ugh. It'll be almost impossible to keep their mood up. They hate everything that we like so much. We need like, we need to put them all in pleasure cycles the whole time. We just need the tribute collector to come. Tribute Collector will come at least once a year, but on average twice a year. But it feels longer than that since I've seen them, but I might I might have just somehow missed one at some point. Must have, I guess. I don't know. High second drawn on males. Well, we know what that means. Zabana, it's time for you to death rest. <laughs> He's hypersensitive, so... He used to be called Sensitive Boy. Which Ryan did launch the most in his space at one time? Uh, two of those. The 20-year run. So if you go to the last episode of the 20-year run, I think we had 69 caskets. I think we launched like 60-something colonists, and then the rest were donkeys. And then in the first Fluid Ideology run, I also launched around that same amount. So we have a 20 year run up on YouTube. That's a really old one. It's one of the oldest runs that I have on YouTube. And then a more recent, but not that recent. I guess that was like one of the first ideology runs uh, with the first fluid run. They were actually, we got two more legs. Stall bionic leg left, install bionic leg right. Get you there. Operation. Yeah, but if you go to the 20 year run, you click the last VOD or the end, you'll see how crazy the spaceship was. It was like, it was like this size. <laughs> Pretty enormous. And now, thank you for hanging out so long. Have a good rest of your day. How goes Vampire's Day? Today's been pretty good. We had a little bit of a scary moment when a center drop raid landed here and came to the base and started grenading and uh, molotoving people but how many runs most or how many years the most of the runs go so if i'm not doing a super th themed run that's like slow like this i would say we usually we usually go maybe like five years or something like that and the big long themed runs where we have like generations of people 
and we research more slowly we build differently and we have like criteria those ones typically last into the teens i guess not a lot of those runs though Invictus, thank you for the gift sub to Durgens. We're at you, Dur Durgens? Durgens? Thank you, Invictus. Yeah, I would say outside of those kind of runs, yeah, they're usually like four or five years. Yeah. Five years. So we could have done, we could have done a lot of standard runs in the time that we had. In fact, we did a 5% no pause vanilla speed run in less than seven hours. So. <laughs> uh, we could have done about six of those already. So we, we could have done six other ship launches on 500% the amount of time that we spent on this run so far. Yes, EQ fan. Build my throne room. Run challenges that seemed infeasible too difficult yes oh we already did it yeah uh the first thing that came to mind for i finished reading your message was the impossible run i really didn't think it was going to be possible to do a run with no walls no doors no rooms just literally out in the open i thought there was no possible way i i called it the impossible run and we did it we did it on the first try um Someone was watching one of the old VODs on YouTube the other day. And did a timestamp in the comments. It was like, um, this was back when I was doing a 500% vanilla Cassandra run. And there was a spot in the run where I was telling people I wasn't sure it was possible to beat 500% without a kill box. <laughs> and, and now we've done that like a dozen times, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. Like, now, what do I think? What kind of vanilla run do I think is impossible? I still want to try a... Uh, a explosives only run, but I want to wait until there's another DLC to see if it adds anything that would help with it. The walls had a lot of close calls. Yeah, yeah. Friggin' Alpha Beavers. The funny thing about another funny thing about the impossible challenge run is I kept saying, ah, this doesn't matter because we're going to lose this anyway. So I I went baseliners. I didn't use any any jeans and I was like, it doesn't matter. We're going to lose anyway. And then we'll try jeans. And then the anima tree got destroyed early on. So we didn't get side casting. And I was like, ah, that doesn't matter anyway, because we're going to lose soon anyway. We went on him one. Now there are no kill box, but also no traps. Uh, the no kill box run was also no traps, right? The first no kill box run, yeah. An extra hot run where the temperature is ridiculous. You could do it with jeans and ideology, probably, depending on the temperature. Mr. Pan Man. Even the two gift subs. Thank you, Pan Man. Much appreciated. What'd you hit? Testy monkey. What's with all the muscle parasites? Christ. Unwarranted. Oh, that's just someone that's sickly. Yeah. Turn of the Empires, Tortured Slave. Having to play the game, that's right. You think you could ever do the No Walls run with Winston Ways and or Zombies? I don't know, yeah. I'm not sure. I think I want to try it against Cassandra sometime. I think just against Cassandra would be very difficult. But, I'm not sure. I was hoping we'd get some DLC news, but... Waster temperatures were anyone degrees Celsius during heat waves? Mountain base, yeah. Keeping your base cool, cool is, is fine. Fine. <sighs> it's one of the things I hate about the royalty runs, honestly, is waiting for the, the tribute stuff. I think I'm going to have to start accepting more of those quests for honor. Even the ones that look like we might not be able to do them. Because waiting around for the tribute collector has been a pain. A raid! Uh, 
Uh, let's prepare for a while. We're up to 100 raiders. Baseliners, okay. Humans! Maybe we'll actually get some prisoners from this too. Love the base look for this one. Where are you guys going? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and prepare. Aim training? No, nah. we don't even have bullets. We don't even have mortars down here now. Collapse due to exhaustion. I was wondering how they were still draft with Z's coming out of them, but they're hiding. They're hiding a small animal under that burka. Oh, 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 oh God! The pa the turret. The turret. Oh, Christ. Close this door. Uh, we might have just lost everyone again because of the friggin' powered turret.
No! <laughs> so that person's kidnapped. I can't I can't stop him. Powered turret. Our turret caused all that. I didn't notice it until too late. Christ. Crazy. All right, so uh... I'll explain the thing about the turret in a minute. Uh, who was kidnapped? Fazio, that kind of sucks. Empty page, Bush, Fireboy, no. Or crafters. So only one real colonist was kidnapped, and it was Fireboy. He had just become a god. I was about to. Oh my god. Once again. Yeah, no more rebuilding this for looks. Screw it. No more. Alright. Hopefully get a ransom for Fireboy. Yeah, hopefully. I was, I was asking what the disaster day was going to be. That's true. Oh no, I have to set up all the bills again. I can't believe the power turret caused that. It's really frustrating. Like this conduit could have saved all that. Put it out before you run. Dead in 22. You're not dead. Alright. Always build for safety and security or, or this happens. It, it happened because I built for security. Yeah, I'll explain how it works. I'll explain how it works in a minute. Well. Yep. Uh. Yeah, I'll explain exactly why it happens to you, yeah. Yeah. Thing is, we get another raid right now, too, which is... Not good, of course.
Them able to just walk over everyone, yeah, and having no collision is is pretty annoying. I know why it happened, but that it's a mechanic at all does kind of suck. Inspire creativity, okay. <laughs> this is a bigger setback than the fire, no. And but Cassandra could attack us again. So she's not on cooldown. So if we get hit again, then yeah, it could be really bad. Um, okay, so we need to, what am I currently doing? Uh, we need to get some of these doors done. That's the most important thing right now. Steel door. Because if another raid happens, we are going to be in trouble if this is all open. Rescue mission? Only if we get a quest for it. Yeah. Can't just like go get them, unfortunately. Oh my god. Uh I don't actually kill her. She's going after the children. She's anakining them. Oh my god, versus baby. Way to go. And then he had a crisis of belief. He knocked Muffin Girl out in a hing single hit. <laughs> oh, get this built. There's a mod that's called Combat Always Collides that fixes the behavior. Yeah. That's really crazy. Really crazy. It's Anakin, but he loses to the first Padawan he comes up to. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got that done. So at least the next raid we can melee block again if need be. Uh, having to rebuild all that's gonna really be annoying, but... Corpse Obsession, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna redo all this, finally. No more theme for that. All the food's about to go bad, and we can't grow more. I mean, we have corpses out there, but... Can't believe we lost the the fire kid. The fire kid. There we go. Not clean. Construct. I'm clicking the wrong one. Okay, food, power's back on, all right. What? Oh, okay. They opened that up too. 
Oh yeah, the one that was escaping was digging that way, yep. Yeah. Maybe you'll find a radio. We gotta hope so. Okay. Uh, so, let me explain what happened there. So we have a turret down here to cause collision, but it's an unpowered, unpathable turret with a door. So that causes collision. However, if raiders have a powered turret that they can path to, they will not gain collision from anything. So what happened was this door was open to this powered turret. And I, I didn't realize until it was too late. So the raiders came up here. Normally they would have gotten collision and just come in and we would have just been fine. But because there was a powered turret, they don't get collision until they get to the powered turret. So they were able to literally walk over the top of everyone. And then they got locked in combat, but they were like surrounding us, right? There wasn't anything I could do. I had to break that wall even to get my character out. But yeah, it's, um, for some reason, path, if there is a pathable power turret, nothing gets collision. I had the turret out here for drop pods because we had a problem with drop pods. But then I had this door open. So this door caused the death of death and kidnapping of all those pawns. The next raid will have adaption. Yes, it will. Yeah. Deaths and down, yep. Christ. Overcom it has nothing to do with overcom. It's just a weird game mechanic. Weird game mechanic. Uh, so we might end up taking some of these that we were not going to. to replace some of the ones that were lost. So let's put those. So we'd have to convert, unfortunately. Anyway, um, I have to see what Cassandra does next. We got to kill this bear too. Quote Fitz, that's when we knew it was time to put her down. <laughs> I'm hoping we get a chance to save Fireboy there. Fire baby, fire boy, fire dude. Oh, it was a devil summon. Crap. I just read it normally. And that's when we knew it was time to put her down. Thanks, Satan. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Things remade. Let's turn the power off to that right now. We'll get it set back up. At some point. Uh, we need to get that chopped up. Those chopped up. After you eat, start chopping because we're going to need food. Stream break. Ah, uh, you're fine. You're fine. All right. Back to the rebuilding. I suppose. Still looking for a tribute collector. Sad. Sad times. Uh, you're able to walk again. Let's go ahead and grab a gun before I forget. You, let's put a zone there so we don't get... Oh, you're slave anyway. It's not unburied. You're not a colonist. Hospital's a little dirty. 
a little dirty. Might not be great for tending quality, but... Uh. All right. Sad wander, okay. Do you have some go juice around? Creation, all right. Get, get the go juice. And... Oh, it's it's Muffin, right. Muffin's good too. Let's go ahead and grab a Thrumbo Horn. What, what happened to the Zeus Hammers during all that? Did they end up stealing them? No, there's one. Did they get away with one, maybe? Do a prisoner and sacrifice or kidnapping who can leave? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean exactly? One got carried already. Okay, thank you. Here, I'll just do this so I can remember. Uh. Zeus Hammer on a sword. Okay, let's have you take some go juice as well. And butcher. Scan uranium. All right. Got to remember to redo all this stuff. Oh, will they kidnap prisoners? Um, I believe they will kidnap prisoners, yeah. Okay, let's take Gojuice and try to get stuff done here. And yeah, they must have been really far away. Precise actually have been good for you. Samples thing well, was a great way to start. Uh, I've liked it so far. I mean, I really like the drinks, so even just getting the drinks for free is a win for me. And then anything else is kind of cherry on top sort of thing, but I just really like drinks, like honestly. So it hasn't been, hasn't been like crazy lucrative, but you know, the money I save buying drinks is, uh, it's not insignificant for sure. Hotel to directly behind the shotgun tunnel. <laughs> yeah, just you can make it so you don't forget that you have a pathable turret like that. I'll probably be in good shape. Yeah, it sucks. So you have a sparkling water club soda. Yeah, I haven't tried that. That's interesting. I have to try that. All right, let's get if you get this done okay allow rotten only what are you up to Zabana? you don't need anything right now so take some go juice to get some work done Here, you do this. Okay, now we just need a melee weapon on you. You got Catharsis already. You'll just equip that. All right, so let's take a look at what we're left with as far as this goes. Uh, 
Yeah, where do we have a lot? So muffin grill, do cooking, okay. Construction, we still have vampires on that. We have vampires that can grow. We have other woman. We actually have quite a bit. Feel can do it as well. And then we can help if there's not much else to do. Okay. Uh, mining. We have Zaman on that. That's good. Feel. If you have nothing else, you can start working on that too to get it up. Smithing. We really only have one person that's good at it. If we get some crafting trainers. This one will be good. This is the one that used to be a genie. Art. Yeah, we're not really making any art right now. So we have most of our bases covered without the thralls. We're not strong enough to take on big raids like that, just melee, like the melee gods, but hopefully we get some good side cast. Like with Berserk Pulse, we can, I mean, Berserk, Berserk Pulse, we win that even with the screw up. Which one used to be the genie? Uh, this one. Rayner. Rayner. I'm going to go with just Ray. That one. Back down to three thralls, huh? Food poisoning on the donkeys? Yeah, it's fine. So now we need to get food stocks back up. I think I'm just going to switch this all over to rice. Aside from the herbal medicine. Friggin' animals. No, that's not gonna be connected right now, but we gotta get stuff smooth so I can do fix all that. Uh, what do you got in revolt with such deplorable living conditions? Enthralled with the current lives. They're enthralled, all right. Things happened. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I I basically had a path turret that I didn't remember was pathable, and so a raid that should have had should have been really easy and should have had collision did not have collision, and we almost lost. We had several people kidnapped. One of the children, one of the vamp like vampire offspring, actually got kidnapped. Is that Jimbo's? Yeah. Fireboy kidnapped. Uh and then we had a bunch of bunch of thralls kidnapped and killed. We can get rid of that on her. It's Fireboy. I really hope we get a quest. We will go save Fireboy. If we get a quest, no matter where he is, no matter... If we have to take the whole colony with us, we'll go save him. Never seen better quality video on YouTube. For some reason, mine's so sharp and clear. It's, I'm streaming in 4K on YouTube with 55,000 bitrate. To put it in perspective, Twitch only allows me 8,000 as a partner. It's the absolute most it will it'll allow me. Sensory Mechanites. Oh, it is, that's the sickly person. Is Ransom Quest guaranteed or chance it's not guaranteed? So that pawn can become a world pawn. We could actually have uh, Fireboy show up as an enemy. And we couldn't do anything. We just we, He would just be dead. Just, we would be killing indiscriminately in, like, in the kill setup, right? So No, it is not guaranteed, unfortunately. Trying to find Ancient Dangers, can't find them on other tiles. Uh, you might just be getting un unlucky, but... Yeah. On average, a medium-sized map will have one Ancient Danger on, like, a flat map that isn't, like, Swamp or something. But yeah, you must be just getting unlucky. Yeah, I hope we find Fireboy again. Man, that sucks. Jimbo is really upset by it. No recent conquest also is bothering him. Yeah. 
Here, take some flake. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. A shock lance if we see Fireboy again. It's it'd be tough with no pause, but at least we'd have some chance. I think we should run a festival, not only because we might get a join off of it, but so that hopefully it goes well and we get mood. Alright, let's do it. Oh my god, potatoes over there too. Fun blade rave, nice. Right, let's do a second one. Probably should clean it up in there first, but. All right, two fun wins, so that'll help with mood at least. No joint events, but we'll help with our mood. Fireboy's been kidnapped, I know. Sad. Sad times. Uh, yeah, we'll make another one of those. It's fine. Everyone's gone on this party. All slaves are kidnapped. That's a lot of trips for this bed. Oh no, EQ fan is better at it now. Right. Ugh, I have to set all this crap back up. So, make components. Do until we have X, drop the floor, put down the radius. So this is like 50 or something. And I have to set all these back up. Uh, this one was gold. This one was, I think, uranium. I don't remember. <sighs> Last steel. Oh, I think this was actually components. I think this was steel. Okay, and then these were all textiles. Textiles minus human leather. All right. Yeah, there is. There are nine mortars outside. That's true. You plan to make all the single phase royal before? Is that still going on? I mean, it's it was kind of always the plan, but we're just not getting the royals to come give us uh any any ranks. So we're, we've been sitting here on gold, to give them, but yeah, we don't even have one count yet. So it's kind of the plan, but we got to have the tribute collectors show up. They're just not showing up. So hopefully. Hopefully. We're doing royalty ending for sure, but as far as how many royals we'll end up having, I don't know. All that work and it's a normal bed. Join the club. Pray for the fire boy. <laughs> uh, thank you. They were the three months. Very much appreciate also. How many pawns were kidnapped? Only one real pawn was kidnapped and then a few uh, slaves were kidnapped. One slave died. How many do we have? I mean, I guess I can go back. And I was trying to stop them too. We just could not catch that one. I don't know why they're moving so fast. So Fireboy was the real pawn that was kidnapped. And then we had Greybush, Empty Page, Bodzio kidnapped as well. So three Thralls kidnapped, Fireboy kidnapped, uh, Jesper killed. 
All because of a powered turret. Sucks. Yeah, we really need to get things cleaned up also. Drug-free slave is on cleaning, and they actually really don't like drugs, so... Oh, we can't even force him to. Forgot about that. Um, Zamano, let's have you help clean momentarily while we get all this, this done. Really hope I get a rescue for a ransom or a ransom for Fireboy. Yeah, me too. We have the silver laid around that we can mine if we get an actual ransom request. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Best forever. <laughs> can Minister Go Juice the Operation Health tab? I don't remember with those guys. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, we can. Yeah. All right, we'll do that then. There we go. We gave him his go juice. <laughs> Forced to take drugs. Minus 20 for six days. Excellent. We need to find some more teetotaler slaves. Should also kill that bear before something bad happens. Let's go do it. Alright. I was expecting us to get damaged doing that, but nope. <sighs> okay. Things are mostly cleaned up. Actually don't need that. Should have rebuilt it. Let's get that remade. Friggin' animals down here. Could you see the operation? Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a raid would be nice as well. 20 people, 15 people, 12 people. So, these are kind of hard to do now that we don't have a lot of range people. We could probably take out the 12. That'd be really nice for mood as well. Alright, let's do it. Do it. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. What if we go there and Fireboy's there? Fireboy. How many do we need to take to up our speed? All right, we don't have a lot of food either. We'll get some food while we're there. As long as we win. All right. There's still a wall that needs rebuilt. Uh, it's already blocked. I mean, yeah, we can rebuild more there just to be safer, but it is built in there too, actually. Yeah, it's so dark, yeah. I was still Gates of Discord. Never rated them. Oh, EQ. Yeah, I never played. Never played. I knew it was a popular thing, but I just never played. This raid will help with mood as well. Gotta we get Fireboy back. It's bad. Baby baby is gonna have a growth moment soon. Like thralls are pretty replaceable, right? Sometimes it's really annoying to try to get more, or find more, or whatever. We've had that happen, but much more easily replaced. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the jump pack. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try a raid. Maybe we'll get some more people from that. Irreplaceable. Fireboy isn't. 
and Fireboy being born like right after the Great Fire and then being kidnapped on the next almost Great Fire is pretty crazy. All right, let's go ahead and set some of this up so I can get rid of all this or a lot of this conduit that's just out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Uh, Surface. I know we're hitting some of the floor doing that too, but whatever. Great, let's just go all the way up. Okay. Jimbo is Goku and Fireboy is Gohan. Oh no. Who did he get kidnapped by? Hopefully he's just out there with Piccolo. But I doubt it. <laughs> Uh oh, Kasu is getting happy. I think we accidentally took some bed rolls with us. My brother is lost. Also, there's no recent combat. Indoor light. Yeah, I know. There's nothing I can do about sun lamps. There's no dark sun lamp, unfortunately. All right, here we go. The raid. Okay, I thought that was incendiary launcher. Well, it's all melee. It's weird that we can see inside that. They have an outdoor patio. <laughs> Raid complete. And some possible new thralls. Okay. That's juicy. That's a juicy sound there. I think the animal were called some boars that were inside. <laughs> That's just gotta be what's going on. <laughs> Runs launch the most ponds. There's two of them. The 20 year run and the first fluid ideology run. They were both close to 70 ponds launched. Well, one of those Itakin just tried to get up. <laughs> Oh, he got up, but uh, he didn't stay up. Oh, these guys have like a real house. It was just steel, right? Yeah, I don't need to check all this. Let's get out of here. Bring one of those home. And I guess whatever steel we can haul. Right. 
Trade complete. 27 shares. <laughs> House actually looks kind of good looking for a random one. Yeah, that was actually set up like a like a new player's base might might be set up. Low food. Ah, oh, we just need it hauled. Need it hauled. Freaking boom rats. I guess our best. The best thing we can do is just train. Or tame the boom rats and then get rid of them that way. No, no, no. Chop wood. These lists that could bring back a cage for thrall mood debuff. Oh, yeah. Put that in their bedroom. Infection. Oh, that's on prisoner. How do you get Sunblocker? Met Cluster. Met Cluster, and then we just didn't destroy it. Destroy the Met, everything else with the Met Cluster, but just left Sunblocker. And we'll turn those back on too, I guess. And then... Let's spin that. I think we might have enough blocks for that, actually. Let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay. Can't beat them, make them join you. Yeah, still really sucks. Good thing we had that low shield, too. Surprised my character didn't go down. I th Drinking that go juice in the middle of battle was pretty clutch. Volume balance change on YouTube. It seems like the game volume got quite lower. To me, I can hear your voice loud and clear. It's, it's when there's no song playing. It seems that way. I think. No, I don't think there's anything that's changed. Other than that. Okay, handling is EQ fan, right? Should be relatively safe. RTV was being stupid. Yeah, it's, so it's it's always weird. There's mods that you can add it so that there's never a point without without music playing. I'm not using one of those. Good though. Gonna need a death rest soon. Just grab the donkeys, then you can death rest. God, they're so spread out. Are you ready around 520? Okay, it's about 30 more limit. 30 more minutes on the stream. Not in goods from the pigs, but still. No tribute collector. <sighs> Alright, so this is the guy that we <clears throat> excuse me brought back. He has a drill arm. Tough. Hurt them as well. It needs more people that can use guns, uh, or thralls that can use guns. It's really weird that we haven't gotten the tribute collector. I can't remember last time.
Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, it would be message, right? I don't know. Don't worry about his age for a thrall? No, I don't care right how old they are. Yeah, I don't know. Just unlucky, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Wasteback infestation. Uh. Well, I'll see what the size of the raids are now. I know we got a assault rifle at the edge of the map too. Did OBS disconnect. Did Twitch go down again? I don't know what's going on with that Twitch server today. Like, YouTube hasn't gone down to any, so it's... At least it was only down for like a second this time, but man, I don't know what's going on with that today. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and deal with these bugs so we don't have to worry about it. I've been... I don't know. Twitch server, I guess. Blame Chicago. Apparently. Chicago server. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pull these. I don't, I don't want to wait. Yeah. Yeah. It's a guinea pig's fault. There it goes again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. It's obviously on the internet because no problems on YouTube side. Yeah, I'm not even able to type in YouTube or uh, Twitch chat anymore. So I guess I'll finish this off. My wife is saying that dinner is almost done anyway. So finish this off and then we'll wrap up for today, I suppose. But. Oh my God, Boomerat. Boomerat, get out of here. Oh, that would suck. No friendly fire on the boom rat, please. Okay, got out. Hey! Why? Why? Oh, wait. Still probably not a good idea. Left Twitch. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it today. I haven't had any problems with Twitch in quite a long time, but it's not all Twitch, so it must be the Twitch server that I'm connected to. But yeah, no idea. No idea. Obviously, my internet's fine. <laughs> yeah, the YouTube count is going up because people are coming over from there. Say the rat. Yeah, I did. I did. I can coagulate a boom rat. Nice. Nice. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Twitch just keeps connecting, disconnecting. So. Don't know. Don't know why. We call us the death rest as well. Uh, let's see. Waste back investigation. How long? Ooh, that's a new. 
New one. Uh, let's go ahead and... I mean, I don't know. It's uh, Death Rest is a lot scarier now that we have your people that can fight. Your people that can do the grunt work as well. Like, even a prison breakout now would be a little... A little worrisome. Twitch is back again! Hooray! I'm gonna wrap things up soon anyway. Dinner's almost done, but... Man, it sucks. Uh, Rosa, thank you for the 36 months at tier 3. Man, it's been 36 months, Rosa. It's crazy. We're back. It was a good idea to not do a bounty today. Yeah. Avoid another great fire. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with that, that boomerang. Alright. Well, a dignified throne room. Is that because this isn't lit? That is why. We're gonna have to go raid another place that has wood sometime. We're back, thanks. Back just in time to probably start wrapping things up. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. <laughs> Sorry, I know. But my wife, mod wife, was saying that dinner is gonna be done pretty soon anyway, so it's probably a good time to good time to call it. We've survived. We've rebuilt a little bit. So I'm going to wrap things up there before I end up getting disconnected. Where are all the slaves? Kidnapped. Kidnapped for the most part. Along with Fireboy. Hopefully we'll get a chance at Fireboy tomorrow. We can only hope. We can only hope. All right. Man. Another setback. Another setback. Sad for the bounty. Yeah, hopefully Twitch doesn't have any problems tomorrow. I guess I'll connect to a different Twitch server tomorrow just in case. I'm on the default Chicago server on Twitch, and apparently that's not a good one today. So I'll try another one tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Very much appreciated. I will be back tomorrow with the same run around 10 a.m. Eastern time. And I have a bounty for tomorrow as long as Twitch cooperates. But we'll see. But aside from the bounty, all day tomorrow, more of the single phase run. And hopefully we get the tribute collectors. I don't know where they, what's going on. I feel like we should have had one by now and it, we're still neutral with the empire. They've sent traders, so I'm not sure. Uh, don't want to keep fighting all day? No, no. All right, thank you guys for watching. Always appreciated. Have a good rest of your day or night, whatever is where you are. I will see you next time. Should be tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. Eastern time. Continuation of the Sanguifage run. I will see you there. See you there. Hopefully Twitch will cooperate.